All right, point battle time, huh? Hope you guys got your new box decks ready and your meme decks or whatever else you're playing. Right, should be a banger though, should be a banger. I should probably actually just put the code on screen straight away, huh? Rather than showing face cam. That would be a good idea, there we go. All right, so no particular rules today. All decks are allowed as per usual. Uh, new box decks are definitely appreciated though, because that's the content for the streamer. But yeah, any decks allowed, and you can do whatever you want. Let's do that. <laughs> one ray is optimal. Hmm. Not sure about that one. I think two. I think it's it's, it's definitely at least two minimum. I don't like one. Like there's a lot of lethals you do with two of them. With um yeah, with two of them. You do lots of lethals. It'd be kinda hard to do exact lethal damage when you can't pop the field spell and normal summon ray. Sometimes. Also obviously DD Crow is a pain in the ass if you only play one ray. But that guy was that was that um because I know his name is Playmaker, right? Is he actually the YouTube channel Playmaker guy? Are they, are they the, the same dude, or are they both just join in Playmaker's name? That's oh, another guy, alright. 
No ban list? Ban list for what? Oh, for this toy? No, you probably have your eye. You know, nothing's banned. Everything's allowed. All decks are playable. But preferably at least a couple of people playing some new decks so we have some content. <laughs> we have been crying. I still haven't pulled a single snake crane. I didn't even know snake crane was even an SR or anything. Is it just is snake is snake crane even a high rarity card? It's only a rare. How have you not pulled it yet? Also, how's it not old enough? You just use box chips on it. <laughs> is that not box chipable? When the when the hell is this stuff even released? Why is there an Ono Mat? Why is there an Ono Mat snake deck list? What? What the hell is this? Ono Mat snake. Huh? Hey, keep trying. Keep accidentally saying snake eye, but you know what I mean. And it's starting in about thirty minutes from now, so we've got plenty of time for people to join. And we do two point battles today, as per usual, both forty five minutes long. So, yeah. If you don't do well in the first one, feel free to queue up for another one. It does make sense, does it? <laughs> Where is the synergy? What, what, what is the synergy here? It's so confusing. Just make Beatrice? Is that the synergy? <sighs> yeah, no ban list. Everything's allowed. The point of these uh, new box ones are generally for me to see, like, what the meta's like and stuff like that. I would have posted this yesterday, but Masterdoll was like, hey, let's just drop a box. I'm like, thanks guys, thanks Masterdoll. Dude, I hate, it's actually a fucking content creator's worst nightmare. Just surprise drops, they're so annoying. You have no time to prepare things. It's actually a pain in the ass. Like I know even Decade, who was trying to, was trying to host a, um, wanted to host a uh, tournament for the new box. But they decided to surprise drop it, which meant that he'd already planned for like um stuff he had to do that day, so he couldn't do his tournament. It's actually so annoying. Like, like let me fucking plan and prepare things, man. Come on. Surprise ban list? They're not too bad, because surprise ban list, you don't need to like, they just sort of make a reaction video and upload it instantly. It's not that bad. It can be a little bit annoying, because it, uh... Sometimes you're asleep during them, and if you don't upload a surprise, like, banless reaction within, like, the first 30 minutes of it going up, everyone's already seen it, everyone's already seen the banless, so then you get zero views. It's actually pretty funny looking at, like, a, um, the graph of view count for banless videos. They're like, holy shit, your most best performing video, wow, oh, and now no one watches it. <laughs> now I'm talking, like, a content creator perspective, though, rather than <laughs> average person perspective. I'm so glad they actually added um, Unchained to Masterdoll though. It's that, like they it's it's such it's such good timing they added it because they just banned um, or limited Unicorn right, and the main deck I was using to climb basically every month at this point was a uh, Zodiac Cash, and they've limited another card in that deck list that was already getting fairly bricky, so I might just drop the deck, and now I've released Unchained and that deck is hella fun. I've been hella enjoying that shit. It's like such a, it's like a, it feels fairly similar to like Sword Soul plays in that there's like little combos you can do, but they're not like super advanced 20 year, year long combos you need to learn or anything. So it's like, it's got enough depth where it feels like you're actually like doing something, but not too much depth where you're playing like Manadium or some absolute vomit deck. Or Snake Eye. Now that shit's actually cringe. Unchained seems like a deck they would release at the end of this year, or the start of next year. Something that you would have? I mean, it's already in the game. At least yesterday. I am surprised they added it though, randomly. <laughs> it was very, very random timing. I know Decade leaked they were going to add it, but it's weird they just added it just now. <laughs> oh, in Duel Links? Nah. That shit can't come to Duel Links, that's way too good. That shit is actually way too good for Duel Links. I mean, 
they can add the like parts of Unchained for sure, just not some of the newer stuff. I <laughs> sure know he's still tier two. Um, it depends on the popularity of Striker. If Striker turns out to be like the most popular deck list, which there is a good chance it might, I think TG will probably be better. But that's I don't know. But if, if it turns out that Striker turns out to be an incredibly popular deck list, Shiranui's gonna fall off a cliff, because that is a terrible matchup for Shira. They have a quick effect to banish during their turn for like the spell card, and a quick effect to banish during the opponent's turn, because the spell card is yeah, it's, it's so bad for them. <laughs> like they they they, it's a, they have to go for they have to go first, basically. Otherwise they're just risk the whatever amount of chances of just opening the spell card just screwing you over instantly. And if you go first versus Striker, you're gonna have a hard time because Striker ex like excels at going second, so yeah that's a terrible matchup for them. I reckon Shiranui might end up being like a tier 3 deck list. It, it's, it, I don't think it's gonna turn out too good for them, this matter. You gonna play Shira for this point, but I mean you can, the deck is still fine. Like, another deck that I think is going to fall off a cliff is, um, Live Twin. I think Live Twin is actually... Is, if Striker turns out to be popular, any deck that's super back row reliant is automatically going to have a much harder time because Striker just kills back row decks really easily. So if you're someone trying to play uh, Live Twin, which is a back row deck, and you're reliant on summoning back from the graveyard, bro, I, I think I think Live Twin's going to fall off a cliff. I think Live Twin's going to move out of tier 3 down to Rogue. I think that shit's gone. I just got excited in my um, tier list video tomorrow, where I get to get, do my bold predictions of the uh, new meta. There's some, there's some stuff that's like really interesting. Like Shira is probably going to be falling down a bunch. I think Live Twin is completely gone. Um, I'm pretty sure TG is better than Striker, but it's hard to, it's really hard to say. Watching like this, I've been watching some gameplays, like tournaments and stuff. But I'm pretty sure TG, once people have teched their extra deck properly to match the striker matchups and stuff, that it's actually gonna be insane. Uh, I think I think TG is probably the best deck in the game. I can't like it, I can't fathom in my mind a way where TG doesn't end up being the best deck in the game. It doesn't make any like it can't be like it can't not be right. You literally without normal summoning create a black rose dragon. Without like using any resources, you just put it on the field, nuke the field, or you can just place a herald on the field if you're one of those players that wants to put just a negate on the field turn one without like using anything. <laughs> it's absolutely cracked. Oh my god, I, would, I have no idea who just typed in my chat because of the fucking dark name. What's oh, dearly? Dream Mirror was the best deck before, and now it's the best deck in all card games. Dream Mirror. <sighs> it is a uh, it is a deck of all time. I'll give it that. Hey, Harrier. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dream Mirror probably won't make it onto my channel, I'm afraid. That one... Yeah, it is a deck of all time. Uh, the new starter skill is only good first with no interruption. I haven't tried the new starter skill, nor have I seen a single bit of gameplay for it yet. I don't think I've even seen a screenshot of, like, someone testing it yet. That's how little people have cared about it, so... I mean... I've been, I don't know. I've got Prismatic Utopia, not Prismatic uh, Firewall from that little event thing, so... Actually, <laughs> has Playmaker made a YouTube video on it yet? Yeah, no, it kind of makes sense, right? That's kind of his deck. Right. Nah, I'm not making a second Striker video. I was, I'm not convinced the free to play strike of milk is the best way to play it. I think it's uh, I think two, at least two, at least two, surely. If Dream Mirror tops one of your point battles, will you eat your hat on stream? No. I'll be very impressed if it does. Dude, Dream, Dream Mirror, like I've had people like actually gear coping on it in my Discord before it was released, before the stuff was like actually released in game. Like, they're like, look at this insane one-card combo. I'm like, great, you've got a one-card combo and three bricks in every opening hand. That is literally the Dream Mirror hands. Because the deck is just, like, compacted of all this garbage. You have to play so much garbage. Your deck is just Garnet the deck. It is so bad. I don't care if you've got a one-card combo. If it takes 50 different fucking things in it, it's awful. No, thank you. 
Not to mention just going second, you get hit by one trap card and oh. Guess I'm doomed. Like at least on the deck list they could play like a MST, you know. <laughs> right, the fossil fusion beats Ray. Hmm. You could just play Crow, but then you play any deck, so. Is the Reptile deck good? Probably, but uh I think the issue with the, the fossil deck oh the sorry fossil deck, the reptile deck is there wasn't as much hype for it as the other two decks. So even if it does turn out to be a good deck. Okay, but it's a garbage that not garbage cannot. Oh. Fair enough. Is the yes, the reptile deck is uh it's probably good, but I don't think anyone is enough is has been hyped or interested enough in it to actually seriously like take it seriously. <laughs> Like, I think in uh, Harry's tournament yesterday, I think there was, like, three people that entered with it, compared to, like, the 15 TG players or whatever the hell it was. Actually, I had the breakdown over here somewhere. I think I saved it, because I was going to use it for the um, TLS I was doing tomorrow. Let's have a look. Where was the... Here's the breakdown. This is, like, the breakdown from Harry's tournament yesterday. Like, there's 20 TG players. Let's count the people that entered with Snake Eye. Oh, not Snake Eye. Red Time. My goddamn Master Dill Brain. Uh, they are three. Like, even if it was like an insane deck, it's kind of hard to tell when no one's really playing it currently. I think once people get, once more people try it out and test it out, it might turn out to be a good deck. It's just hard to know. Hard to know. Like, I haven't even tested it out yet. Like, it, it, like if I haven't tested it out and I'm a person making content for YouTube, it probably means not many people are excited for it. <laughs> Sky Striker is insane. It certainly is. Especially going second. If you go second with Striker, holy. You're right. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Dude, the only actual cog list on DLM right now is a fucking... It's literally is. An Onomat list. Like, Onomat? That's... <laughs> hey, come on, guys. <laughs> My list is so arse. Ah, but is it arse enough where it would still beat Dream Mirror? That's the real question. Uh, I'll do. I've got a tier, I'll do tier list video tomorrow. Then I might explore the deck the day after and see if it's worth making YouTube stuff out of. We'll see. What list have I still not done yet? I haven't done. I haven't done what Evil Eye as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, Evil Eye. I guess Goki. I haven't done anything on yet. The Flua stuff. I have no idea if that's worth any YouTube content. I might want to make a um, Dark World video for Master Duel 2, not sure. I don't know. Dream Mirror is actually good with the new S. No, let's, let's, let's not. Let's, let's stop the cope on the Dream Mirrors, guys, alright? Let's stop the cope. No, that, that's not a case of people not trying it. That's a case of people understanding that uh, they don't like having three bricks in their hand and one star to every duel. We like have an actual, uh, it's not cope trust, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Understandable. <laughs> Just gonna open the card tray. Oh, that's true. It's it. Oh my god. That's true. Thank god I didn't plan to make a video on it. Holy shit. That, it tilted me so much when the stupid, st what is it, Starry Night, what the hell that art type was that had the... One card in the card trader that literally didn't show up for four days, so I could not make big content on it. Oh my god, refreshing the card trader every fucking four hours, whatever the hell it was, just to try to get this stupid trap card, and it just never showed up, so I just skipped the video. That was triggering. <laughs> the card trader explodes. I agree. Fuck the card trader. Screw that guy. Gladiator was the funniest surprise for true. True, true. I think the main issue with Gla Gladiator, though, is on ladder, like, all the testing I was doing with it, every time I encountered TG and I was going second, I was like, oh, well. It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. It, TG is an unplayable matchup for that one. Because, like, they set up the negate, the halberd negate for the summon, and they set up the stupid link monster that makes it untargetable, right? And the Gladiator Beast removal from your fusion monster is target. And the summon from it is a contact fuse, not a normal fuse, so it doesn't start a chain. So it can be negated by the halberd. <laughs> so he just they just negate your fusion, and they you can't even target the halberd even if you could fuse. 
and your destruction removal. So if you do remove it, they summon another level 10 from the graveyard. So <laughs> that matchup is painful. It just guides you. You can't play guide you in a domain of the gladiator beast. It says no. Skill says no. Yeah, so I think if, I think if gladiator beast even had a chance of being like a tournament deck list, it TG is going to take that away from them instantly. Not the worst matchup in some other things though, so I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of them list occasionally top card and stuff. And the meta is looking. I reckon TG's probably on top. Sky Strike is looking really good, but I'm more interested in seeing like I know Sky Strike is super weird. Like it's a it's a hard deck to play, and it's also a hard deck to play against, so it's gonna take a while I think for people to adapt to how that deck works. I do think TG's on top though. I, I'm pretty I don't know, that's a that's my take currently. Top with Tenji again, dude. Tenji, it's... You, you've misspelled Fraudy again, guys, alright? Tenji is not a, not a word in my chat. You only spell, you only spell it with an F, okay? That shit is a fraud deck. It's <laughs> not attempting... Dude, it's, it, this is called Pendulum Summoning, okay? When a new Pendulum deck is added to the game, when there's like five other more fun decks that exist, you can expect the Pendulum deck to never see play. No one wants to play Pendulum unless they're forced to. <laughs> As in the League of Legends champion, Yi? Master Yi? Looks like it's smaller. I take offense to this. <laughs> Spilled all the tier list bit bad. People will still watch it anyway. You guys enjoy the tier list videos, I think. I think you guys enjoy them. A lot of people seem to watch them, so. But what are we going to make the clickbait title this time? I can't keep making the clickbait title, There's a New King, you know? Because for some reason, like, Duel Links recently, they just keep releasing these new decks that are just continuously getting the, like, the tier 1 slot. Like, what am I going to do? Live Twin's falling off of tournaments. I, I already said this earlier, Harrier. Live Twin's gonna fall off a cliff from, from Striker. If you are a back row deck trying to play in a Striker format, you're going to struggle immensely. And Live Twin is super reliant on the graveyard, which Live Twin just suck up your monster or banish it. Like, Live Twin is just. If Striker becomes even remotely popular, Live Twin is gone. It's literally gone. It's off a cliff. Live Twin is a dead deck now if a. Uh, Live Twin, become, if um, Striker becomes popular. What's your favourite deck? Cyber Angel. Unfortunately, you'll probably never see a video of Cyber Angel on my channel again, because I doubt Konami's going to add anything that makes the deck playable. <laughs> Unless they get absolutely super desperate for content, they release another copy of Alexis Rhodes into the game for when she was uh, included in uh, Arc 5. Or Arc V, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> your chat, you're looking cute today. <laughs> Cyber Dragon is tiered again. Cyber Dragon is not tiered again. What do you mean? What are you saying? Who, who's playing Cyber Dragon? Don't enjoy his play the 10 span of a goldfish. Don't forget how you clicked the last video. True! Dude, I love when I get huge win streaks in Duel Links. It makes my thumbnail so easy to make. <laughs> These like, it has to be the laziest thumbnails on the planet, and they just work because they're just people are interested, even though they're so fucking boring thumbnails. The fucking just like 14 1, 13 5. <laughs> wow, what, a, what an amazing thumbnail! Literally copied the same title. Look <laughs> at Dueling's brains. How much time is left? Uh, 10 minutes, then the rain starts. Ten minutes, boys, and we get gaming. Try the new spell and new bell. Oh, the fusion contact thing? I had one person try that on ladder. Didn't work out too well for them, because I'm pretty sure it destroys during the end phase or something, because I remember his monster going popper during the end phase. I was like, huh? Alright. <laughs> nice. Sky Striker is Cyber Dragon? No. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember now. I forgot that... Yeah, that was actually a terrible meta for any back row decks. You just summon the fusion, just pop the back row. Yeah, yeah. 
That's like, like your thumbnails require much work. That is true, too. It's, act it's actually kind of triggering. The more effort you put into the thumbnails, generally the worse the videos do. Master was like a shocker for it, actually. Like, these, um... It's kind of hard to explain, but these, like, thumbnails here, right? The <laughs> for Master currently, if I don't do, like, a super clickbaity thing, and the video is not on day one, the video just doesn't do well. This, these ones don't count because they're on day one videos, and that gets- they farm the shit out of search results. But like, I don't know. Like, even just trying to do these, like, ones here. These ones just don't- didn't do as- it did do fine, I guess, but... For a new Dark Vision video, it should have done a lot better. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck putting an effort in. Just put big red letters on the screen and people click it. <laughs> Night Travel Sunny next pack, true! There's more murky mo mo cards in Rush to IRL than in Duel Links. Is that true? <laughs> what the hell? Try TG with Chris John turn 2. Crazy. What, uh, Mr. Halky Fibrax? No Halky Fibrax. Crarion Gandrax. Why is it that I can pronounce Crarion Gandrax, but I can't pronounce the other, like, 52,000 cards in this game? Like, surely that name should be hard to pronounce. Anyway. And Mercury Maximum. Dude, Mercury Mercury Maximum, and it would still get zero views if I upload that video. <laughs> Poor Rush Jewel, man. Poor Rush Jewel. Are you, are you not playing some Packs of Master this time? Unfortunately, because Konami decided to stealth drop it, I didn't have any time. I was midway through editing the, uh, well, recording and editing the Sky Striker video. And if I wanted to make the Unchained video and the Striker video on the same day, because I have to upload the Unchained video on day one, otherwise it just falls off a cliff. Uh, yeah, I didn't have time. So I've already opened the packs. <laughs> They've already been opened. So no, there isn't going to be a pack opening for it. Our opinion on Necro Valley. As in, like, what do I think of the card? Was in, like, what do I think of it in current meta, or what do you what do you mean? Because it's Floodgate, so cringe. But if you're asking, like, what do I think of it as a card in the current meta, um, not particularly great, because uh, TG don't care about it, because they just summon their Synchro and it just pops a card, and it's pop it, it's gone. It doesn't really stop many decks, actually. It's like, you're aiming at what... You don't stop um, Shiranui, they just summon their Synchro, pop it. You don't stop... Uh, like, it's not gonna, Striker doesn't care. Let's just come in on the GP. <laughs> One Ray Striker deck. Okay, to be fair, okay. As much as that was cool. Okay, that was really cool. But, to be fair, I think the dude, the <laughs> TG player, made a couple of mistakes in the final, okay? Notably, not summoning Trishula. <laughs> Although, I didn't even know Trishula could, um, didn't need a card in hand to use its effect. I thought it was the same as the Necroz card. Like, how is that, how, how come there's two Trishulas in the game, and their effects are very similar, but one is actually way better than the other? Huh? Like, Konami, come on. Why is the ritual monster always- why do rituals always get the, like, short end of the stick, man? Why is the synchro gotta be better? That's fucked up. You can stop Glad Beast? Okay, the the one Glad Beast player on the ladder. Zombie dead? I think zombie's probably alright still. Like, the difference between pure zombie and, um, Shiranui is that- Oh, sorry, I'm like- Yeah, I guess Shiranui is that- the, pure Zombie has a lot of targets in the graveyard for Striker to try to- has to try to get rid of. Whereas Shiranui has the one sort of level 2, if you banish that then oh. That's basically the most of their turn done. Yeah, we'll skip Halberd attack, yeah, 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 that too. Also, you could have la lanced the Halberd like 100%, I don't know why- I don't know in what world he thought protecting the Link was more important than protecting the Halberd in that situation. Then again, I'm pretty sure even in my TG video, I'm pretty sure I 
did the almost exact same thing, so I probably can't talk shit, but I 100% in that situation was thinking, when he was doing the long de um, de decision, because he took a while to decide between the two, I was going to say, why would you not, I, I literally just said in my head, just lance the fucking halberd. There's no way you would lance the other one, there's no reason to, like, you might as well just play around it. <laughs> you don't need to keep that thing on field to protect, you only defend yourself from targeting effects if your card is immune to the entirety of the striker deck list, you know? Not taking anything away from the sky the sky striker player though, because obviously he was popping off, and he was a misplay, and so <laughs> he definitely he definitely way deserved the uh, the win since he, if he's not misplaying the other guy's misplaying, you definitely deserve it, that's for sure. And he's got to, I didn't watch a whole lot of the tournament, I only really caught the final, so uh, I guess throughout the rest of the tournament he obviously had to win a whole lot of games to get there, so. Spent 16k gems on the one copy of Rei and Shizuku, and now I'm regretting my whole life. Oh, how do you spend 16k and only get- huh? What are you resetting on? 16k should easily get you more than one copy. I- huh? <laughs> what are you resetting on? I want to get joined the stream, I'm trying to get out of gold with my Sky Strike. Alright buddy. Room starts in three minutes by the way if you want to join. Oh, the chain order thing with Striker? Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming Konami will fix that. Assuming. There's, like, I, I can't see a world where Konami doesn't, like, fix that. It is very dumb currently. Even if they don't want to give us manual chain ordering, just make it so that the stupid spell card will always chain in the correct order that you want it, you know? Just make it so that stupid spell card chains, like, you know, correctly. It's very stupid. Anyway. He's resetting every t each 10 ball. Oh, fair enough. Do you believe Honey fixed Clayer Beast? Well, yeah. They didn't make them meta relevant, but they certainly fixed it. They took a 2017 archetype and they made it an actual playable deck list that is definitely able to climb like a ranked ladder. That's, that's fixed in my opinion. <laughs> The, the thing I don't like about Gladiator Beasts, I don't like, uh... I don't like the entire deck as, like, one ofs It makes it look so fucking ugly. <laughs> I hate deck lists of one ofs man. That's literally what Gladiator Beast is. It's also, like, the only deck in the game where you don't want to play their search spell to search for a monster. Because you don't want the monsters in your hand. You want them in the deck. <sighs> like, if it wasn't so damn important to open your, um, Unexpected Die or your... Uh, Rescue Rabbit, I would 100% play a 30 card deck list so I don't open these stupid monsters. But unfortunately, you really need to open Unexpected Dire Rabbit to be able to play the game, so. Yeah, one minute till it starts, lads. One minute. There is two point battles today. Both are 45 minutes long. 45 minutes long for both of them. <laughs> can we join the room? Was there... No, you can just join the room. Although you've got one minute, so... Actually, the room's already started, never mind. Never mind. Right, put these chats over here. Alright. Let's get gaming. Actually, let's turn some audio on, actually. <laughs> How'd you may? Oh, damn, decayed memes. I draw. I draw. I actually haven't heard the voice lines for the new character yet. All right, let's go. You will top eight. All right, buddy. All right, all right. You need to be a real person to join the room. Now that's true. You can't be having any robots joining the rooms. Get these AIs out of here. Yeah, from Sherry. I haven't heard Sherry's voice lines yet. All right. Oh, God. Why is it the first game I click on a pendulum match? Oh, come on, guys. You're better than this. Why are you willingly playing pendulum? <laughs> yeah, optimal, optimal turn one pen board right here. <laughs> I 
very optimal turn one pen board. How can you possibly beat this? Has anyone gotten the Dream Mirror Fusion Car from the Card Trader? I think, I honestly don't think he stocks it at this point. I don't think I've seen it yet either. <laughs> and I've been resetting it every day to try to get the stupid uh, trap card for the reptiles. Dude, that man eater bug's about to go hard on this uh, Moonlight player. I heard you say no one plays Pen when Liam took the challenge. Yep, and after this, he's going to understand why he too should stop playing Pendulum. She says, on report, which is she going for a finishing? Oh, is that Au revoir? Is that what that is? Just guessing, that's like one of the only phrases I've heard in my life. Oh my, how'd he out that field? Dude, how'd he get past the Perform Power second donkey? Why is it the second donkey? Is there a first donkey or what? Alright, free to play versus Ray King. Is Ray King going to be playing Ray? Am I really clicking on a speedroid, you bell game? Oh my god. Wait, Ray King isn't playing. He's playing at one of the, a, a, a skill. Gladiator Beast, okay. We've got a beast player alert. Oh, he's like in some of the third donkey. You're right. How'd I miss that? It's always the second donkey that gets you, for fuck's sake. Alright, we're contact fusing. Using the actual contact fuse. Alright. Guys, let's pop them once. We are going to need a second pop, though. Wait, that thing, can't this thing not be destroyed by card effects? Wait, how do we out there? Are we Nightmare Unix? Are we Nightmare Phoenixing or what? How are we out in that? Ooh, that is, wait. That is nasty. You can't resummon it. Oh, is this thing immune to being destroyed anyway? This thing just can't be destroyed by... This thing can't be destroyed by card effects anyway. Something this would have done nothing. Anyway. Okay, puts the Vesbarcius in hand. Revive. Oh, we summoned from hand. Right, it's on the field now. Are we going to? Are we just gonna? Da... Are we gonna use Darius or what? I'm confused. I assumed you were gonna use like Darius to revive. Not wait. Wait, huh? Huh? Wait, <laughs> what am I watching? Did we? Did we still have lethal? Did we just, did we just swap it over for swap the one on field over for Darius? Revive nightmare, uh, unicorn, send to grave or shuffle to deck, hit him in the face. Did we already have? Did we still have lethal? Why did we concede? Oh well. Anyway. Anyway, move it on. All right, Loom Enjoyer and Red Magic. Let's see what you two are doing. And this Gladiator Beast has a lock to not summon. You can still summon it, right? Whatever, man. Alright. Shiranui versus... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's maybe watch something a bit more exciting. You don't like hand traps and jewel wings? I don't really like them too much either. I don't really mind Crow, but I kind of don't like the effect Valor or yeah, anything like that. Either. Okay. We've got Salamandra and Phoenix versus Red Eyes Reborn. Let's see what Gear Freed's doing. 
But me and Bloom enjoy playing Shira. I mean, I don't mind Shira as a deck, to be fair. It's just we've seen it quite a bit now, so I'm looking for some more entertaining games for the stream, you know? I don't think this stream particularly wants to watch a Shira mirror match. Our friend's accent? Okay, I have not heard her voice lines, so this will be the only game I turn them on for. Turn on some voice lines. Alright, how does he sound? Wow, she sounds very French. Who would have thought? Dude, every time I hear a French accent, I just assume it sounds like sounds like Fiora. I've actually got so much League of Legends brain, it's insane. Just what I was waiting for. My step child. I activate the striker players yet. Haunted zombie, what the hell is that? Oh my god, we're making some tokens! Just what I was waiting for. I activate my monster's effect. Here I go. I special summon a monster. Go get him. All right, that is a I full field of our blockers. Oh, yeah. Gear Freak gonna be Attack. sucking it up though. I end my turn. This will be fun. My turn. I go. All right, what can we do? <clears throat> I summon a monster. Okay, that's pretty good draw. Sending an Uni Zombie to the graveyard. We're reviving an Uni Zombie? We are, okay. I special summon a monster. I activate my monster's effect. Alright, Link summoning. I'll sing Zero summoning. I assume. Black Rose Dragon? Well, that's not gonna resolve. Using the inferior Black Rose Dragon card art, too. Kazuki reviving. Is that, not a, is that not a hard one, Spurton? Okay, shuffle them back. Mizuki. Apparently this trap is a graveyard effect. Resets itself. Why you stream so late? I gotta sleep now. I stream late because, uh... Better for other time zones. Still at the same time I uploaded my videos, so it kinda makes sense. Any chance of making a video with Playmakers with your skill? I have not seen anyone play it yet, test it out, or try it, and I haven't tried it myself, so I have no idea how good it is. So, maybe? <laughs> Alright, we're swinging in. Gift Reef is off the field. <laughs> Night, buddy. Is that France accent? Yes, that is a French accent. Yeah, Sherry is kind of cooking. What? Oh, okay, you can't just drop a random magical musket on us in the middle of... What is this deck? Ig ignite, musket... Alright, well... Here I go. I special summon my monster. All right. Let's do this. I special summon my monster. The lads are coming out. I activate my monster's effect. I set the pendulum scale. I activate my monster's effect. And negated. Here I go. And he's gone. my monster. Pegasus is in fringe too, is it? Security dragon, and it's gone. Alright, I'm I'm very unimpressed with this uh this voice acting, not gonna lie, it's gone. Where is it? Where is it? Hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm blind. Okay. 
Joey, you're not out of accenting her. Wait for the aura of either guy. I'm good on that one. She's incredibly French. True. Alright, there you go. Bit of a base bit of a base jewel there, but still no new decks. Where are the new decks at? Alright. Surely we see some. Some new decks here. We see a TG gamer, alright. <laughs> Wait, are you playing the pendulum character still, but not playing a... Uh... Oh, you play okay, you are playing Reptile. Okay, Reptile versus... I assume... Yeah, limited removal. Alright, what, what are we setting up? What are we doing turn one? I wish French women were real. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, me too, man, me too. Alright, Feral Imp's getting a search. Grabbing a Remnant. Remnant, discarding, special summoning the light to revive. Getting a search, grabbing a Water Lily. Have we got five? Is that a worm? Is that a worm? Why is the worm in here? Oh my fucking god, it's worms. Alright, can we beat the uh oh back is gone? Is that a misc? Okay. Misc can special summon out a level one, I guess. Alright, making the level five. Oh no. Oh no. Star Guardian adding back to hand. Oh no. Oh god, he's activating the skill. <laughs> it's over. Wait, hold. Wait, he's doing other stuff first. Are we making like a. Are we making the Aquarium or something? Wait, why would we summon the monster first? Alright, I guess you just didn't want that monster. That's. Huh? How would you? Okay. 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 <laughs> what? How are you? Okay. We'll keep. We'll keep going. Can you read Misk? No. All right. Echidna going to be doing some stuff. Getting veiled. The attack with the position striker. Pika Chad. A power move to be sure. Oh, gave him, oh shit! You gave him back. That was that was an interesting choice. Oh, it's negated. Never mind. We're safe. Save. Don't worry, boys. We're safe. He missed lethal. Oh, he, he certainly missed lethal there. That was um not the most optimal TG gameplay I've ever seen. Best TG Enfield. That's right. The Hydra coming in, reducing the attacks and destroying. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for Mr. TG player. Uh, okay. Getting cracked out. All right. Well, turns out this <laughs> turns out the reptile wasn't able to lethal either. Serpent revive, getting veiled as well. Both players on the veil attack. This summoning out, so it doesn't give a fuck. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Plenty for another screw serpent. Wait, didn't you already have one? Did he just bounce one back to head? I, I mean, I guess it's. Okay. I, I don't know what I just watched there, but uh. <laughs> good games, I guess. <laughs> Fucking worms. Alright. What are you two playing? Some random ass characters, so I assume one of you is playing a, a generic skill. Dude. You got fish balkaned? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna showcase that video on my channel. I've literally only showcased that combo. Been doing my uh, pre box release video, I showcased that combo. 
The worm tank was a mistake, I'm not playing anymore. It was based though. Why is there Charmers on my screen? Oh, it's Meg Knight Charmer? Oh. Okay. Okay. Monarchs vs. Ch Charmer Meg Knight. This is definitely not the matchup I expected to see when I opened the stream today. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Best way to play is not to use the reptile skill. I mean, that might not necessarily be the best way to play. That is just one of the ways to play. Alright, we've removed one monster. Book of Moon. Our strongest monarch in field. Huge storm force. Oh. Didn't, didn't really do anything. Wait, did it actually do like nothing at all? What? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, well. There we go. Huge tribute summon. Summon out the Erebus. Ah, oh, so just combat with that one. Okay, sure. Eclipse. Oh my god, he's popping off. Prime Monarch reviving. Oh my god, second Prime Monarch. The big guy. Fucking <laughs> Caius, the Mega Monarch. Not enough for lethal though. Oh, basically was enough for lethal. <laughs> right. Alright, moving on. Uh, have we seen these two yet? Nick and Noah? Maybe host a single elimination type tournament? If Konami ever decides to uh, make a tournament mode in game, I will. I hate running tournaments through Discord. I, I absolutely despise doing any actual work when trying to put tournaments together. It just. No, <laughs> just no. I don't have to get admins together and mods together and all that kind of, it's just, it's not happening. And I'm not the kind of person that likes to organise shit like that. So if there's ever an automated one in game where I just say, hey, here's a code, join the tournament, then I will do it. Until then, no. <laughs> Zaj. Yeah, so if you want that, go in every survey type tournament mode to Konami or something. This is why I host point battles, because we just po post a code on screen and then we're in. You would have to do actual work? Exactly. Can't be forcing my poor moderators to do actual work, you know. The unpaid moderators. Up to the jewel room options? They do, they do. But the, the thing is, like, they don't really have a reason to, you know? Like, if you actually think about it, these, if there's like, I don't know how many players there are for Duel Links, let's say it's like 50,000 or something in a in a day or something. I don't, I don't know what the actual number is, but it's probably some absurd amount for mobile. But how many of those people are actually using the Duel Room feature? <laughs> you know, and how many would use the Tournament Mode feature? If it's like, if the answer is only a couple of hundred, that is such a small percentage that it just is not worth them investing time to build it, you know? Probably the same reason they don't have, um... So they don't have their Master Duel either. Also, oh, I'm missing out on some Sky Striker gameplay right now. Alright, Kagari coming out. DD Crow. Oh, okay. That's a nasty crow. So I'm someone that you trust to do the work for you. Alright, beaten over it. Shizuku end phase, searching for another engage. Galaxy player has got fucking nothing left. Cloud Dragon, revive. Mine now. 
Book of Maine? Uh, that serve a purpose, that Book of Maine? Or <laughs> anyway, engage, searching for a prismatic jamming waves. Jamming waves gonna be popping his own field spell. Oh, no rays left apparently. Does Sky Strike work with traps? I mean, I play it with um, IDP. I wouldn't play too many trap cards, because the deck is heavily reliant on you having spell cards in Grave, but... Having a couple of them IDPs is definitely fine. Feels pretty good to me, at least. Alright, no lethal just yet, but very hard field to deal with right now. He's getting the, getting the typical Sky Striker gameplay of getting slowly grinded to death. And he's gone. Uh, I'm for real for managing helping Tyson with something like this. You wanna nah? Nope. I don't wanna. I don't wanna put an effort like that. It is not not something I wanna do ever. <laughs> I've tried hosting them in the past, and it felt like shit every single turn. Fortress bound to shadow. What is that? Oh god, is this the Quillford thing? Oh my god, it is. Alright, Gladiator Beast vs. Clee or Ford, or have you pronounce it. Hi, Globe. Nice emote, by the way. That is an adorable emote. Do you think April, April Fools Konami will do something? I don't think they've done something for April Fools since that Tristan event like 20 decades ago, so I, d I doubt it. Because I'm pretty sure when they did do one, they had, um... They had leaks for it beforehand. Like, we had leaks for it, so we already know it was coming. So if there was one, we'd already know. Is there a stream delay between games that are just grimmed or... Back to back games, I guess. If it's just best of one, there wouldn't be too much delays, so you just go through the game. So if it's like best of three, there would be delay. <laughs> you miss when the skill symbol was a circle? Hey, some decks have skills with circles, okay? Alright, Compulse. United, okay. He's playing United. Poppin'. Alright, can't pop the uh, that dude though. Can it beat over? Why did we swing in with the other guy first? Okay, sure. Just didn't like that monster apparently. Just decided screw, <laughs> screw that guy. Alright. One lot of disruption on the field. Ben scales are out. Not that good in duelings? Probably not. There's a lot of Link monsters in the game. <laughs> Single Nightmare Unicorn jump scare the shit out of any sort of a uh, Quill Ford or whatever the hell this deckless name is gameplay. Which I assume this Gladi Beast player is playing, so. <laughs> Come on, bring out the towers. Come on, do the thing. Bring out the towers. Veiler? Okay. Fairly nasty Veiler. Like that gets rid of both effects. Oh, that's a rabbit. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, with Link summoning? What are we. What are we Link summoning into? Oh. Do you guys like does no Gladiator Beast player in my room play fucking uni unicorn? Just put the unicorn in your deck, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> what is your what are you guys' extra decks? Anyway, huh? Wait, am, I, am I missing something? Is there some like sort of lock in Gladiator Beast somewhere where you can't summon a unicorn? I'm pretty sure I summoned it in my video, so I don't think there's a lock, right? Anyway. I guess maybe the, that boss monster was that. No, they, they, they're not immune to her. Immune to her, right? I don't know. Skill doesn't leave. I mean, the skill doesn't stop you from doing it. 
You know, the Unicorn be able to stop towers? Aren't towers specifically immune to, like, levels? Like, cards with levels? Or something? I'm pretty sure Link's deal with towers, right? What's <laughs> the Unicorn you speak of? Ah, just make SP Little Knight. True. I wonder when they're gonna add IP to the game. Wait, didn't we already watch? We've already seen. Okay, we've literally already seen this matchup. Okay, we're not watching it again. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's not the same draw. It's just the same. The same two people. All right. What do we got here? Two people on their characters. So this is probably the. So Mandarin Phoenix. Are you playing anything interesting? Eh, probably not. We've already seen Salamander and Phoenix, so we'll see if you're playing anything interesting or- Oh my god, okay. Dream Mirror! Okay, so got the field spell out. Disciple, Traitor. Searching for the other field spell. Sprite, searching for the Continuous. Oh my god, searching for the Black Knight. And passing. Alright. Sue ship versus a field. Which I don't think you can you can swap it out now, but you can't fusion summon anymore. So I'm gonna need monster in the game. So you got one banish or one destroy or something? Holy shit, that 150 burn is putting in work. Negating the Field spell? Wait, it, I thought these have like quick effect tributes. Oh, there's no second field spell on the field. Right? That doesn't matter, like, it's summoning out. Oh, okay. Alright, this summons out the big guy. Alright, here's our one destroyer. We've already used our negate for some reason. Equipping the sun. Okay. The dream mirror just loses. Yeah, I don't know. This guy seems to be putting into work. He's doing stuff. Card effects are being activated. He <laughs> really tried to swap it out. Okay, it's fine. Ooh! He's, he just removed... Holy shit, that's crazy. He removed the Salamandra. <laughs> Why would you not move the other back, Grail? Did you really need to get rid of this? Wait, okay, okay, there's no way... Oh. Okay, we'll keep going. I don't... Okay. We don't, we're not gonna talk about what I just witnessed. We, just, we don't... We're moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Alright, Squeak Light gonna be summoning out. And go into a uh, Gene Herald. <laughs> Make a clap. <laughs> oh my fucking god! There ain't ain't no way, ain't no way, man. The only only dream you are playing to actually get the fusion. Okay. Getting back some of those life points. Shari Red. Into second tournament. Uh, 15 from now. 15 minutes till we start the second tournament. <laughs> Why did we Nightmare Unicorn? I can an equip spell, and we were planning to literally remove the bot. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still lost. I'm still lost as to how that occurred. Alright. <laughs> the Dream Mirror player has gone through their entire deck and has achieved not a whole lot. My auto mod thinks the word neg negate is racist. 
Oh, I guess you didn't spell it correctly, so... Is he not playing traps? Well, this... Well, the Sushi Ship player or the Dream Mirror player? Because the answer is yes. How to summon Divine Arsenal is this? You just hard summon. Two, uh, two big level 12s, put them together, you're good to go. Alright, let's see what you two are playing. There is a distinct lack of TGs and Strikers in this room so far. I've only seen a couple of them. Alright, definitely a zombie player on the bonds, for sure. Let's see what you two are doing. You're behind a lot of things? Oh yeah. Sylvans are popular? Bro, that's like what, 2016? 20, actually, that's, that's later actually, it's like 2017, right? Alright. Is that Cubic? It's Cubic we're willing to hang around. It's not Cubic we might move on. Your bat and your match has both? Hang on, boys. Your match has both? Alright, we're in. You've convinced me. Alright, TG and Strikers. This is the this is the first room. The second room starts in uh, 12 minutes from now. Oh, well we open we open up the next room for people to join in 12 minutes. Yeah, I saw the I saw the Sky Striker the Stry Sky Striker list. Holy English, that won the um, Grand Prix. Why is Pre spelt with an X, by the way? Why is that actually a thing? My first day was Kokai Mero, I saw when Shirinu was first introduced. Kokai Mero? I mean, that was a tier 0 deck for a while. Alright, the Guardian, add him back to hand. The Serpent not being special summoned to revive back the level 1. These three are going to be turned into a copy of your Link monster. I'm honestly not even sure if, like, if this is like the best, most optimal turn one field you can make with this deck. It's like, I made this like little combo, but I made it like before the stuff was released. So I'm not sure if like, if people need to experiment a bit more to see if they can build anything else. Like I think, I think I saw someone trying to build like the, the... Oh, you're putting that thing on the field, okay. In the graveyard. I thought we were doing like the Herald with the um, big guy. That's like the turn one infield. But this is definitely a strong infield, don't get me wrong, but it'd be cool to see some more experimenting just to see what people can build. The move was a one right since you don't want to draw it. I mean is that is just a one because you search it with the skill. There's no need no reason to want a second. Alright, we're searching for the Ray. Afterburner popping the first monster. Alright, multi-roll. Dealing's being used. Filling up that graveyard. Multi-roll. Getting out a Ray. Ray swapping out Kagari. Grabbing the field spell. Getting negated. Okay. You can make Herald plus Halber with Blaster to float into and still back her in hand. Yeah. Oh, we negated the Hiate. That's a interesting negate. Can we do the Shizuku combo? We can, right? I oh, know we can't. Can't do the Shizuku Shuffle. 
Strikers Cook TG. I mean, this guy's, I don't know. It's not looking too good for him right now. Alright, surely we see a quick. Oh, we actually can't. He's got the main monster zones locked up. Squire Saga destroying. That revives the ray. Oh, now that cooks Striker right there. Ray Stonk. Oh, sorry, Crow Stonk's going through the roof. Alright, GG's, GG's. Um, Loom lies. What, what do you mean I lie? What are you playing? This better not be Tenyu. I swear to God, if this is Tenyu. Ain't no way you're playing Tenyu right now. Shira Nui. Alright, he's playing Shira. I mean, it's not a new deck, but we haven't seen it yet. Alright, we'll watch it. We'll play it out. Alright, Reinforcement Truth. Summoning out a copy of the level 2. Slaughter, reviving. You were the cubic player. You won the match. <laughs> congrats, buddy. Congrats. Don't mind some cubic gameplay, but I was trying to see some new decks. Alright, compulsing. Lancia, Crow, Vader, and Skullmice in Clutch Games versus. Let's see if chat's being blocked. Most decks, at least. Most of the new decks. Um, don't know what Lancia does against most of the new decks. What banishing do they do? Basically none, right? Unless you're including like zombie in that, I guess. I think that banishes. All right. Uh, you two. Let's see. You two are playing. Have you beat Galaxy Eyes with in Indiora? I have no idea who that is. She has one of the card names. Does help stop Shiro Nui. I mean, you said he said um he specifically said new decks, and Shiro isn't technically a new deck anymore. So. All right, some reptile gaming. Can we see what the other skill was. Oh, Sky Striker. Okay, Sky Striker going second. I don't like the chances for the Reptile player, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we can set up. Feral in. Discarding. Oh, sorry, detaching. Searching for Codal. Codal special. Oh, sorry, Remnant special summoning. I'll oh, change the grave. And special summoning the uh, Light to special summon the other one. Give the search. Grabbing the Water Lily. Tributing to summoning the King. Royal Lily going to be sending for the Queen. So King and Queen on field right now. Dealing's already stocking up that grave. Oh, he's playing the spell card tech. Okay. I do like this card. Alright. Already negating, did he? Which one did he negate? Negated King. Area zero, Ray tagging out. Alright, look in the top three. Are we we're playing multiple the Metal Foes Fusion? Okay. Crow again are engaged. Nasty Crow. Why don't people play these decks of characters that fit the deck? What fits what, what deck fits Sky Striker? What Scud? I mean Scud Scud is the kind of one to be playing a, a waifu deck with, so. I don't know who else would play Sky Striker in this game. And who plays Snake? Weevil? He's a bit of a snake. I guess.
<laughs> Just so much to end on what exactly? Yeah. Okay, banishing from grave. Pretty nasty. Eagle booster. Making sure his card cannot be destroyed by battle. I guess he didn't want to revive from grave because that would trigger this thing's effect, so it was kind of worse. Rather than trying to go into Ray. Engage, searching for the destruction, as well as a card draw. Another draw from the Metal Foes Fusion. Afterburners with the pop, meme in the face, and passing the turn. Remnant summoning out. Queen reviving by tributing to. Okay, that's going to give him a pop, because the ray will be reviving. <laughs> Wait, no queen effect? Doesn't queen get the pop when slings revive? Wait, why didn't he send a card to the graveyard? Why was he not allowed to do that there? Huh? I'm confused anyway. Except during damage step. Oh. Unlucky. Alright, Shizuku. Jamming away, he's popping his own back throw to remove the monster. Base to shuffle back, I think. Is that what that does? Yep, shuffling it all back. Shuffling back the Kagari is huge. Gonna use it here too, of course, to try to grab a engage. I assume he's got engraved still. There's an engage in there. I mean, there's literally lethal on field right now. And everything past this point is just flexing. Nope, and he's gone. Sky Striker, like life point boost or balance? Neither, because they literally need to use the skill to get their link monsters, otherwise they don't exist. <laughs> they want to use that. They want to use their own skill to get their cards, otherwise they're literally not a deck. Uh, this room ends in literally a minute, so I think we're just gonna wait for this room to end, and then we'll set up the second room. So, if you guys were interested in playing another point battle room. We're going to be setting up one just after this one. And as per usual, during the during the, in, during the the break between the two rooms, we'll show off the deck list that tops the first room. The Outfish Balkan combo is literally unplayable. Um, I don't know. The deck overall might just be pretty unplayable. Like, it looks like it'll be good, but at the same time, eh, compared to some of the other new stuff, I don't know. It's like kind of a hard deck to build correctly, too. Like, I have no idea how I'm going to properly build it. Room ID? Well, the room isn't created yet, so we can't sell the room ID until it's created. We're just waiting for this one to finish. Since it's got literally like 30 seconds left or something. Alright, so results of the first of the two rooms of today. We had Loom Lies in first, Dark Energy, Ooh, Locust OTST, Himothy, Fox Old, Rocks, uh, Takaiza, Jarvis, Albania, Red Magic, The Matson, uh, Zaushin? I, I cannot pronounce words. Xyz Shokan, and <laughs> Namthat HF, okay. Lasher Sunweasel. So that was the top 15. So there you go. If you guys want to share your deck list in the top 15, feel free to head over to the Discord and there is a channel called Point Battle Decks. Feel free to post your deck list in here. <laughs> Mr. Terry over here has already set up the uh, the gap between them. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Alright, and we'll set up the second room so we can have our second point battle today. Point battle number two. Okay, what time? Two... Wait. Okay, 
What time am I setting this up for? What time are we at now? Oh, I need to play it a minute. Yeah, that makes sense, right? That's right. I think that's right. Too late in the day to be doing uh too late in the evening to be doing that. Alright, room code is on screen. And in the meantime, let's see what the top and lists were for the previous room. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh alright, starting off we had <laughs> Starting off with 30, 38th place, <laughs> sharing two deck lists for 38th place, holy. Hey, thanks for the raid, um, Happy, appreciate it, buddy. Good timing too, if people want to join from the raid, the, the, we're going room starting in uh, about 30 minutes from now. Yeah. Alright, so there's uh, some TG stuff, we got some Shira as well somewhere. Oh, wait, I'll share below. There you go. <laughs> I'm not sure we particularly want to, uh, oh my god, Slim, oh my god. The Solemnity Enjoyer. Alright, all right. we got in 12th place, we had blue, we actually didn't see a single Blue Eyes replay, actually. Not one person playing the Blue Eyes. Bro, I wish there was a way to, what if I make a Discord bigger on this way? Oh my god, the stupid fucking camera's still annoying. Oh, the stupid this side thing's annoying. Why is the code going to be in such an annoying spot? Whatever. You guys can see the cards. I came in 12th, few games I should have won there. I could have been top 8, but one game I misclicked, another I lost when I should have won. Standard deck list. Alright. There is the extra deck as well. Alright, moving on, we have 28th place with Monarch, sure. I think we actually saw this deck win on stream actually, so... There you go. Very nice, very nice. Alright, 6th place with TG best deck. What we got here? We're running 2 of this card, 3 of this. Uh, playing Book of Moon. And playing very standard looking extra deck too. Opt in for the big one over the other TG. I, don't, I, I honestly don't think this card's worth running at all. The fact this card isn't a uh, machine just means you can't use the spell card in Grave with the with it if um with it if you're using it as your float target. It just sounds bad. The other card seems way better follow up. Basically guarantees follow up for the following turn if you're able to survive. But other than that, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. My scroll thing work. There we go. Thirteenth with Striker. Shiranui Bezda. Uh, Loom, what one today? Uh, this room? We haven't seen yet. <laughs> I think it was Shira, I think. So I think that's what the player was playing. But that was only room number one. We still got a second room to do today, so. Alright, this was the- oh, this is the double- Double Metal Force Fusion, actually. I did try out Metal Force Fusion, I did actually quite like the card. Ended up just cutting it to play more, um, playing as a backer on the deck. But I did actually enjoy using it when I did play it, so. Pretty nice to have another spell card that you can just pop and put it in the graveyard with your cards and get potentially an extra draw later on when you don't want the when you've already got more than three spells in grave. First place with this. Wait, wasn't your name Loom Lies? Wasn't first place the guy named Loom Lies? 
I thought I thought you weren't playing you weren't playing this. Unless there was a tied first place. Was it tied first? So I don't think Loom Lies was playing this. Is there a setting to allow you to save on limited list? Yes, but that, they're not they're not allowed for this room, so. If that's what you're trying to use it for, no. Anyway, if this was first place, uh, there you go, some Crusaders apparently. Oh, it was a tired first? Okay, okay. It's tired first. So he can this guy can be first place as well. Alright, so there are some Crusaders. Got a DD Crow in there, got some trap cards, the uh couple of two IDPs and a compulse. Not so much else to say about it. I haven't seen many Crusader lists in a while though, so I'm not really sure what the typical Crusader list looks like. There's your extra. Alright, not bad, not bad. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, what were you what were you playing, Mr. Cracked Deck List? With the surgence of graveyard focused decks, summoning large monsters in your opponent's cards is fun. Actually non targetable by monster effects. Oh my god. Follow on to <laughs> I mean your day is blocked out because of streamer mode, but uh God, okay. There's your there's your there's your Twitter handle. Alright, we had some fossils. We had some there was actually some talk about this before the stream started. Or before the um the room started actually. People were talking about fossils and their interactions with things like striker and such. Very nice, very good way to deal with graveyard decks, having a fusion spell that uses your opponent's graveyard. Very nice. Can't let you let him shield like that. If he wants to post his Twitter and my like 10 viewer room streams, go right ahead. I don't, I don't mind. All 10 viewers can go check out Lucas of the Stars on Twitter. Alright, moving on. <laughs> 41st place, holy! Damn, that's an insane result right there. Popping off, Mr. Quillfort player. Uh, we're gonna move on though. Uh, <laughs> 53rd place with holy Exodia? That's crazy. Damn. Obliterated indeed. Not bad, not bad. Alright, back to the actual top cut now. We had 7th place with Shiranui. Alright. Playing a couple of Book of Life, another great card into a uh, back row decks. Oh, sorry, graveyard decks. Very nice, very nice. And there is your extra deck as well. Very nice. All right, what else we got? Zero snake grain, zero <laughs> abyss, one offering. I love Julix. I love Gatcha. Forty first place, by the way. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, zero. <laughs> Rough time, rough time. Man's getting screwed over by the, uh... By the gacha. <laughs> hey, new box. Yeah, new box, Andre, but no zombies in this one. I don't know if you'll be interested. Rocket, actually. Okay. We had some rocket gaming. What the... What is... Okay, rocket, but then what the hell happened up here? <laughs> Why is there a... Okay, it can make rank 8s, I guess? Uh... Necrofusion and, uh, okay. Any waifus? I mean, the entirety of the Sky Striker archetype is a bit of waifus, so... I would have to say yes, there were some waifus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a bit That's a bit of a spicy little tech there for Rocket. Pretty cool. Got top cut with it too, so that's pretty good. 45th Kaiju is Godzilla. No. Oh. So we had a 45th place Kaiju and a 1st place Kaiju. The dichotomy of man right there. Kaiju is Godzilla. 
Alright, there's your extra deck as well. Third place, but got lucky. Okay, we didn't see a single one of these games, actually. We missed all the Evil Eye gameplay. Alright, there we go. There's the main deck. Nothing too new in the main deck. The interesting part is the extra deck with the brand new Link Monsters playing both of them. So one's a negate and the other is a destroy. Are they both negates? I actually cannot remember. Either way, we are playing both of them. So there you go. Very nice, very nice. Evil Eye good against Strikers, I don't think it was luck. Maybe. It's kind of annoying to try to deal with it, isn't it? Because the bad back row removal is normally for face downs, and their stupid spell card is face up, so you have to like destroy your own shit to remove it. It's, it's pretty complex. Alright, eighth place, we had Striker. Look at the main deck first, there we go. Alright, triple into the void, two copies of Ray. Uh, one treacherous. He's playing two copies of this. Okay, okay. And extra deck as well. Playing the level 8? Why is level 8 in here? How are you ever summoning that? Are we just stealing two level 8s and then summoning it that way? Is that what that is? Either way, nice deck list. If I was in the joint, I would have smashed everyone and take the 24th place easy. Solid 24th place. 24th place, Lunas can beat Sky Strikes TG on second, but not Blue Eyes sadly. OTK and TG is so funny. How is it? Okay, I guess this is a very easy way to play through the TG fusion monster. Oh. So a TG Synchro Monster by using an actual fusion spell. Can't negate a fusion summon, so very good, very nice. Unfortunately though, it didn't quite make the top cut. 23rd, 5 wins, 4 losses. We have Galaxy. Next room starting in 15, by the way, guys. If you're looking to join the next room, make sure you're um, in it. Code's on screen still. Alright, very nice, very nice. It's so bad versus blue eyes, not surprised. What the hell is this? <laughs> What's this? 21st? It's first to place. Why have you a stroke? Why is it. Isn't it 21st? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we had a Witchcrafter. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen a Witchcrafter deck, okay. Cyber Angel card spotted! Oh my god, we got a Cyber Angel gamer in here. But isn't that so sad? The only time Cyber Angel gets used is this stupid spell card to defend your field. Isn't that sad? What's your time zone? Yes, it's Australian. It is, uh, Middle Australian to be specific, so the middle one. Central, or whatever the fuck it's called. Thirteenth place, we had Galaxy Eyes. Okay. Looking pretty good. The singular crow, just draw the out smile. I guess we've got a couple of draw cards to potentially draw into it. Alright, there's your extra deck as well. Very nice. Top cutting with galaxy eyes. Alright, up next we had... Uh, 33rd. Great problem for point. Jewels of Sky is too slow for grinding points. I could see that. I could see that. Probably do around KC cups, but in point battles that are quite a bit smaller, it might struggle a bit to rack up some points. You'd have to have like really high win rates to do so. Like, if you're winning, like, every single game, you could probably get there, but otherwise, yeah. Our tied first place, Mr. Excalibur over here. Playing Shiranui. 
We're still playing the Samsara. Who cares if you can't search for it? Just draw it, smile. A 30 card, by the way. Triple Crow, triple of the other negate. Triple Droplet. And we do like negating. Alright, very nice. You go second. Huh? Evil Eye missing consistency skills. Evil Eye is very consistent, they need a consistency skill. Alright, uh, started Odd Eyes, but Breach then got fifth with Speed Droids. Okay. I think we actually watched the Odd Eyes gameplay, actually. <laughs> I think we saw that game, and I think we literally commentated that you'd stop playing it, actually. <laughs> Alright, there we got the speed droid going on. Two copies of the revive spell. Alright, then we've got your synchro monsters as well. Very nice, very nice. Watch this. Do I want to? Do I want to watch this? What? What, the, what has this got to do with the point battle? I mean, I guess we are a deck list in here anyway, so... Alright. Do I have to open a Twitter? I don't want to open Twitter. So glad, so glad we watched that one on stream. Thank you for that one. Alright. Alright, so this room starts in... When did I say that for? 45? It starts in like 15 minutes from now, so like 12 minutes from now still. What the hell? Alright, 12 minutes for you guys to join the room. If anyone's still waiting to join. And the chats can come back on screen for a bit. Chat's back on screen. Yeah. Do you watch cricket? No. I've just realized I've got the code not up to tell you. No, the only sports I watch are esports. Speaking of which, League of Legends final today. Very bold. Probably watching that straight after the stream, actually. Or soon after the stream. It starts in like four hours or something. He's a CSGO major today as well, right? A lot of esports gaming on going on today. What well, final? Um we got a semi-final for LCS. Cloud9 versus Team Liquid, I believe. So I'm a little bit like, too lazy to scroll, so you got any good right now with the new skill? Probably not. I mean, they're probably playable, but it's just it's a suboptimal skill compared to the other ones that are in the game. I think is the uh, is the view on it. Though I haven't tested it myself yet, so the side major deck got twenty first. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I'm not sure that counts. You have too many suboptimal deck lists. Oh. Cloud9 versus Team Lobotomy, <laughs> alright, cool. Good old League of Legends Esports. <laughs> you pinged me on Discord, what do you want? Ping me in general chat while I'm trying to stream? Oh my god, that pull from the new box, holy! Double bod, what the hell is that? Oh. What's your thoughts on Dimension Shifter coming to Joel Links? Fuck no. Fuck no. Holy, no thank you. Why on earth would I want a floodgate? Another floodgate in this game? I don't want any floodgates in it. 
lingering floodgate bullshit. Get that out of here. I want that not even in Master Duel. I want that shit gone. Get that. Get Max C. Get rid of him. Though I will admit Shifter feels a little bit slightly more fair because at least it's only played in like two deck lists, okay? It's played in like your Cash Tiers and your Flunderies. No one else plays it. So, I mean, at least they can balance it by making those decks balanced, sort of, you know? <laughs> and again, Kanabi did this nerf Flunderies a billion times, which is kind of funny. I swear, Flunderies' only strength strength at this point is the fact it can play Shifter. If Shifter got deleted, that deck would... That deck would no longer exist. Mm -hmm. Deck's just missing one card. Too indecisive on your box purchases. Which is understandable considering they release a box every single month. It's kind of hard to uh, commit to one box as much as a... Uh, yeah, commit to just one box. Alright, room starts very shortly. We've got eight minutes to the next room. What is that in load? What are you trying? What is this? Who are you? Who is Billy? Alright. <laughs> uh, thoughts on new Ancient Gear support coming soon to Duel Links. Oh, well, we don't really know what it is yet, but there are some good cards they could add. Some stuff that would actually make the deck playable. There's definitely some good stuff. And since it's been like 600 years since that deck has been a playable deck, I am definitely down for it. <laughs> Shit, it's Billy. Who's Billy? Flood needs to be balanced for Julie so they don't get all the cards. Yeah, if they don't get their one, fl their one Floodgate monster, then maybe. To play with us? No, I prefer casting. Do you know, is that Billy, is it Billy Harrington, the, the, that guy? It's probably all the same dude, right? Is that Billy? Oh, it is that guy, okay. I don't recognize him from that picture. I just recognize him from Forzen streams. <laughs> Gashi. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Uh, the Ghost Bell, you could see it coming, but I think Mech Knights are going to come back with new support next month. Mech Knights? Why would Mech Knights get more support? What even more support could they add for Mech Knights? Haven't we got, like, all their stuff? I'm pretty sure we already have all the Mech Knights stuff, don't we? Maybe not. Oh, gear, yeah, true, true. Gear Sue, that is true. That would actually be a big one for the deck, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Skill trainer. <laughs> no, thank you. Floodgates, not good. Don't, please don't add floodgates to my game. Duel Links is a place where we can escape the floodgates. We like what floodgates do is are even act are even like actively used in Duel Links, or have ever been actively used. I guess Lancia kind of counts. Uh, Necro Valley was actively used. We have, we have got, um, not Barrier, I forgot what it's called, the Dimensional, whatever it's called, Continuous Spell, but that's not super popular, it never has been. So, I don't know. I don't think there's, I don't think there's, a, I don't think there's been many, many Floodgate decks in this game, and that's probably a good thing. Oh yeah, Power Sink Stone. Well, we just, we just had, um, during, uh, Desperado meta, we'd have that stupid... <laughs> That stupid monster that stops you from summoning lights or something, losing light effects. That card was pretty funny. Getting some Austria, greetings, buddy. Hey, Austria, that's that place that always gets the name confused with Australia. I think that's the only reason Australians like myself know that Austria exists, is we just see the uh we just know that it's close to Australia in the in the name. <laughs> Racist card block. <laughs> yeah, that card does hate the light, so I think it's it's negates light effects or something, right? I forget I forget what it actually does. Ophiom? No, no one uses that card. They're talking about cards that are actually played. No, no one uses that shit.
Oh yeah, the actual mirrors to the mirror trap cards. I wasn't talking about those actually, I was talking about the, the, the monster. I forgot what it's called, the uh... I forgot what his name is. Ghost Fairy? What is that? I guess it's that one monster that I was playing in Sue Ship. That wasn't actively used, that was just like I was using. What the fuck is that? Who are you? What the fuck? Is that a thing? I didn't, I've never seen that card in my life. Is that actually in Duel Links? How have I never seen this card before? Is this actually in the game? Oh, it is in the game, okay. Alright, well, I probably reviewed that card at some point too. Would, to be honest. I'll probably see where you're coming from. <laughs> Quarantine, that's the name. I was thinking like virus or something was the name, I'm like, that's not right. It's the opposite, it's the fucking quarantine. Are there any fusion... Uh, room starts in two minutes, by the way. Are there any fusion decks that really got any better through the new support card that is limited to three? Not really. I think you'll find in the next ban list it will be unlimited from three, probably. Because <laughs> nobody's using it, literally no one. I think they were scared Blue Eyes was going to play it, probably. Like, does that, does that even matter if Blue Eyes play it? Do we really care? <laughs> yeah, I think you'll find on the next ban list that thing gets unlimited. Because literally no one, no one's playing it. There's literally no point releasing a new card, limiting it to three, and then zero people play it. Like, don't, don't do that. Like, the main reason that people were meant to play it was with Gladiator Beast. So I think that was what they were trying to get people to do. And then no one played it in Gladiator Beast, so... What was the point? Literally, might as well just unlimit it. The same as when they limited the um, Forbidden cards, right? The Forbidden... Uh, the, the, the guy that can search for the Forbidden spell. Yeah, I think, I think that Fusion spell will get unlimited next uh, ban list, I imagine. Maybe for Ancient Gear, maybe. Fusion Deployment should be good in Dark Magician. It's literally uh, another DM searcher, basically. I mean, does DM need another searcher? I think at this point, DJ, D DM Dark Magician is pretty consistent, but I guess it's alright. Does also lock you out of doing your Xyz stuff, but that doesn't matter too much. Maybe pretty good in DM. You have a floodgate deck with it? Oh, okay. The room starts in one minute. One minute till we get to game. Infinity Justice. Infinity's not coming back, man. That deck was a deck of all time. That deck was literally like the only deck in Duel Links that did the did the master thing of setting up 19 disruptions. I mean, how many disruptions did Infinity set up? They'd have... <laughs> they have three lots of back row, and then three zones worth of disruptions, right? I think they only missed one zone worth of disruption. So they had six disruptions, I think, is Infinity's uh, set up. Yeah, that's a bit too much for this game, I reckon. I don't think anything's playing through six. That deck might as well be in a Floodgate deck. Alright. Playmaker, are we playing the new skill? Oh, I'm playing the other one. Alright. <laughs> you played. <laughs> okay, shark ending on the average water exceeds Enfield. It's maybe Paleo. Yeah, it's Paleo. Okay. We like we like seeing some Paleo gaming. Hey Grouch. No skill for Evil Eye. I mean, it's Evil Eye's doing alright without a skill. They don't need one. Warning points. Negating. 
triggering the Paleo Engrave as well. I guess Paleo did technically get new support this box. They got that new Xyz monster who's a uh, Xyz 2, right? Floodgate Trap Hole being used. Reviving another Paleo. That's going to make it kind of hard to blow. Never mind, we're still continuing anyway with the Prismatic Secretary. I think everyone's got a Prismatic Secretary now that they think about it. I'm pretty sure they gave us one for free. Oh, that's a good way to get rid of the, tri the uh, Floodgated monster. Okay, tributing it off. What the fuck are you? Okay, we've got a cat being summoned. <laughs> cat girl job scare. Alright, these two become wicked. Battle phase? Pass. Okay, well, probably not the most optimal infield, but we'll see how it goes. Is there a time limit to the room? 45 minutes these rooms last. And this is talking about in individual jewels, which are just the same as normal jewel time limit. Alright, Obavina getting a search, grabbing a Pika. Or Pikaia, how do you pronounce it? Pika sounds more adorable. Alright, using it to draw some cards. As well as summon back a Paleo. Alright, there is the Diva. Are you be summoning a particular sea serpent that can pop some stuff? We certainly are. Are we going for a level 6 synchro or are we activating the skill? We're going for a level 6. Uh, oh, sorry, no, never mind. Rank 3. Okay, we're summoning out the. We're really doing full Paleo stuff. Set in 1. Set in 2. Going for a pop. Can be removing, I assume, not the Wicked. Gadget being destroyed summons a token. Triggering the Wicked's effect. I don't know what this does. Oh, so just for a Synchron. That's pretty good. Battle phase. Wicked cannot be destroyed. Okay, a bit annoying actually for the Paleo player to deal with the Wicked. I have to draw specifically the Banishing one, right? Okay, that's a big boy. I don't think his effect does a whole lot though, right? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, he's only floodgated. Quick effect popping. Oh no, just grabbing, sorry. Floodgate trap hole in hand. Nasty. Alright, final back row. Have we are we finally gonna see the ultra rare paleo card, the banish? No, we're gonna quick effect pop it. Hey <laughs> Luco Panda. And this thing Oh, okay. Never mind, it's all gone. Integrator? I hope this thing protects it from destruction effects, right? Yes, yeah, so we tried to destroy cards with the Romeo, that's a bit awkward. We've still got a trap card though, so we could still have the either Canadia or the banishing trap card. Ah, uh, there's the big boy. Quantum Dragon. 
You can draw from the integrator as well. Well, these monsters don't get affected by this, but he can certainly just beat over it. for some sort of out. Can't target anything with card effects except this one. Going for an Xyz, a rank 4. I mean, that does not do out things particularly, it uh, just reduces attack. Don't think that actually helps, like, at all. Okay, we've got two more monsters on field. Ah, uh, this doesn't work, right? You can't, you can't swing into that. Doesn't this thing say no? No, that doesn't, that doesn't work. This thing, this thing's gonna stop it, right? I mean, I guess the attack reduction still goes off, so you can swing in with the other guys. Yeah, I guess that's fine. That, that, that isn't out. This doesn't have quite enough for lethal, though. So close, actually. Herald? He can't make Herald. I'm, this guy's playing, um... Has to play only waters due to the skill. If it's not a water, he can't use it. Alright, Banishing 2, summoning the Degrade Buster. Which does... Basically nothing on this field, but it's getting floodgate trap hold anyway. There's the Dino Miscus. We've been waiting for this car. He hasn't used one all jewel, surprisingly. He mustn't own very many copies. It is an ultra rare to be there. And there's the concession. Alright. Not bad, pa a Paleo win to start us off. Alright, free to play versus Markel. Let's see what you two are playing. TG versus, I assume, some sort of zombie pile. All the Bonds players are on the zombies. Where's that map, by the way? Uh, like a, a galaxy looking map? Alright. TG player going second, zombie player going first. What are we setting up? Should I stop playing the worst deck ever? Nah. 76 people, that's quite a lot. For the second room, that's a decent amount. Normally a few people drop off after the first one, but we had like an 80 person turnout to the first one and 76 for the second one. That's not bad. People generally are interested in just playing the new cards, I guess, or seeing how they do. You hate Paleo? How can you hate Paleo players, man? Come on, it's like the most base trap deck out there. Just wait till Labyrinth gets added to Duel Links, then we can hate on a trap deck, you know? <laughs> Paleo is the most based trap deck out there. 82 on the first one? Yeah, not bad, not bad. People are generally interested in just playing the, playing the new stuff. Which is cool to see. It's very nice when Konami actually releases boxes with content people are interested in. Or maybe it's just been a while since we've had, like, something that wasn't rush content, you know? <laughs> maybe we'll just want to see some more speed content. That wasn't just a structure there. Alright, Dragonfly, we're going for a Link Sum. Is this what we're making? 3, 5, 6, 7? Wait, Black Rosing just with this? Oh no, he's playing a Squire, sure. 
Chalice with the negate. Mayakashi going to dodge that effectively. This is the downside of running specifically this link, this um, Synchro over the... He has another one. But there's the downside of running this card over, let's say, another level 7 that can on summon remove something. So this one isn't on summon. This one has to actually use the effect. But still got to add a shit ton of disruption there and hasn't even normal summoned yet, so... Who needs Droplet when you can just play multiple copies of Chalice? <laughs> Star Guardian, Star Guardian adding back to hand, grabbing to level 3. Special summoning level 3. Going for a level 8, probably the double attacker I imagine. Conquering though. Lance going to be reducing for a little bit more damage. Is that enough for lethal? Not enough for lethal though. Why did we lance it then? Was just to beat over it? That seems kind of bad. Alright, making the comeback though. Banishing beating over. Unlikely TG draws a top deck here. It certainly isn't. Alright, zombie player takes it. Beaten over the TG. Alright, let's see what you, you guys are playing. Wrong attack order, to be honest. Was it a miss lethal? Alright, TG number two. What do you see plan? TG and Galaxy. Move to remover, grabbing the Serpent, grabbing the War Wolf. Normal summoning, special summoning. Guardian, Guardian going to be adding back to hand. Probably going to be summoning once again. That's a Prismatic Booster Raptor. Alright, these three become your Link. Link can be summoning from hand, deck, and graveyard. Making your power gladiator. Making your shooting star EX. I do think you should be summoning the other one, but anyway. And these three become your Halberd Cannon, and let's see how can we out it. Look for some Sky Striker jewels. I, I assume we'll find some. Just naturally. I think we need to specifically search them out. All right, Advent's going be going to be used. Grabbing his Galaxy Eyes and the Knight. Brave as well. <laughs> the skill is such a custom skill, man. It's pretty insane. Expedition, special summoning out, soldier grabbing a search for another soldier. Can probably quite easily use uh, bait out some of this back right here. Gonna have to stop that Vimana in some way, otherwise I'd be negating the halberd anyway. Galaxy Knight reviving. No IDPs or anything used yet, so don't know what that back row is, might just be a lance or something. Alright, Cypher Dragon. Notably, can't actually deal with this fill completely, because you can pop two cards, right? But the Halberd's just going to float into something else. Which is actually going to be bigger than this monster. And But here is the issue, and why you shouldn't use this card. The Limiter Remover right now would have been able to add to hand if he was using the other monster and not this one. This is why you play the other mo- they use the monster given to you via the skill. You don't summon Shooting Star. You would have been able to se search for the monster you wanted there and you would have had lethal. Literally, as I was saying, why you shouldn't play it. Proof on screen. This thing being a dragon kills the card. If this thing was a um, machine, it would be a completely fine card. Alright, oh, looks at things, the Galaxy Eyes player isn't actually able to- Oh, sorry, the, uh... Yeah, Galaxy Eyes player isn't actually able to take it out. It's kind of chilling right now. 
The negate attack is uh, kind of hard to get through at the moment. Top decks into the serpent and we're good to go. <laughs> yap, 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 true. What's the room number? You can't join at the moment. You can't join point battles midway through. I'm not dabbing, no. Those are those uh, point point redeems are a little bit old. Those ones. Back when dabbing was cool. The fact that the skill just reads plus two and it still isn't that good is crazy. Yeah, just shows how powerful the current meta is actually. Like that deck should be a top tier deck. I think mean, I think it is considered tier three, but like that deck should be much higher. But everything else is just so goddamn powerful. Uh, zombie vs Pendulum? Do I want to watch a Pendulum replay? Not really. Crow being used? Dabbing was never cool? Debatable. Dabbing was ironically cool. In the ironic sense. Alright, Mizuki going to be reviving. Sending another Mizuki, Mola. Vampire Sucker. Reviving his opponent's uh, Crow. Mizuki reviving the Samurai Skull to make the Sucker. And passing the turn. <laughs> Despot being played, okay. That's a pendulum deck I can, get, I can get behind. Hey Dark, are you the one that has the Onomat list on DLM right now? Why is there an Onomat Reptile list on DLM? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> yep, it's a Despot gamer. Metal Foes Despot. Alright. Hopping the back row, grabbing a silver. Yep, that's you. Based. Alright, Metal Foes Fusion. Despot 5 reviving, fusion summoning. Grabbing us a. Miss Miss Rillium? Drawing a card. Oh my god, is that a nightmare unicorn as well? No, I what the hell is that? A Hydra? Which summons some tokens. What is this man cooking? Link Karibo. Linking off again. Bomber Dragon? Hopping, Metal Foes Fusion. And conceding! Come on, let him let him finish you. Come on, that guy was based. His name is literally Bomber and he summoned a Bomber Dragon. Like, can you ask for anything more than that? That guy was fucking cooking. Alright. Loom Narkoom. Okay. <laughs> Very creative name, sir, I'm seeing right now. That man was cooking. Is there another room? No, no, this is the last room today. Cool. Alright, first a raw gamer. Haven't seen a raw gamer in a while, actually. Revelation, discarding the raw, grabbing the monster reborn. Revelation, allowing you to conduct the summon with the monster reborn. Summoning the chicken. Very tasty looking chicken, actually. Alright, grabbing back the monster bomb via the skill. Sun God sending the big ass phoenix to the graveyard before summoning out the egg. The bowl. 
I'll give a KSC now. Yeah, it happens every single time Ra comes on the field. Not gonna lie, he does look pretty tasty. That guy would look pretty good with some herbs and spices. Alright, can the Onomat get over the egg? Summon out Beatrice. We're going for some zombie gaming by the looks of things. Alright, summoning out Abyss Dweller. That's a nasty card, actually. Full setup, actually, with a Dweller. Does use the trap card beforehand, though. Forced it out. And that is not what you want to see if you're the zombie player. That is for sure. Bra popping, Beatrice summoning, Bra popping, Galaxy Cyclone. Unfortunately, the skill removes the egg though, and he is dead. Yeah, Abyss Dweller is a very disgusting card versus that archetype. Alright, loading versus Tata. That name. Own the PlayStation 2 of those graphics. That's not that's not the worst animations in the game, okay? Ra's animation's pretty good. There are some actual PlayStation 2 Ooh. graphics in this game. Sorry, some PlayStation 1 graphics actually. Alright, Megaform, summoning what is arguably one of the most ugly cards in the entirety of the game. This thing is hideous. I don't even know why it's so hideous. The color scheme makes it look so awful. Like the rest of these cards are so vibrant looking. Why is this one so ugly? Anyway. Master Blades? Okay. A Prismatic Master Blades. I see why you're using it now. Time Lord? So As we were talking about, <laughs> talking about Floodgates uh, during the previous room. Have you summoned Breaker? Like everyone's just playing, everyone's playing anything but Striker. I mean, it's a uh, these rooms. When, when when I run a point battle, a lot of my community likes to just mess around, and have fun. Okay, there's no stakes in the line, there's no uh, money on the line or anything. So a lot of the time, it just ends up being a lot of memers. But there are certainly a lot of Striker players, and the next KC Cup will have a bunch of them. That is for sure. So, Sky Striker is a very good looking deck. Infinite Light, sending to Grave, Time Lord beaten over. The rarest animation I've seen in this game is the one where you get, <laughs> you, get you win the jewel. <laughs> oh, that's a bit rough. Oh, this one Time Lord's just dicking you. Man can't deal with this 4,000 attack boy. He's just too big. We rain dearly after this, we can. First big prize tawny of his world season. He's a world season? Is he doing multiple tawnies? I just assume this is just a one of. He doesn't dearly actually have a life now. Like, <laughs> Isn't he no longer a Yu-Gi-Oh player like us where we all have, don't have lives and we sit indoors all day playing card games? One ray is scary. It was a pretty impressive win. It was a good dub. Alright, Dingyusu. Getting rid of the summon breaker. He does 20 minutes free. Ah, oh, okay. And he's gone. Alright, I think we've already watched you. Let's see what you two are playing. These nuts? Hang on. You've got me interested. I'm a big fan of these nuts. Did you manage to find the raw gamer again? 
Alright, what's D's nuts plan? What is that? Trimid? Okay, most optimal Trimid Enfield right here. <laughs> Didn't you harm me? You're a fan of D's nuts too, aren't they? Let's be real here. Yeah, join. Yeah, that, that, that's who the other is. So you didn't watch my duel? It's because you don't have a name like D's Nuts. See, <laughs> regulars of the stream will know that if they change their name to something stupid, I generally click on it. I have absolutely got Yu Gi Oh brain rot. If I see something, in something funny or stupid, I'll have a giggle at it and probably click it. Hence why there's a lot of people in here with Loom in their name with some insult or something stupid. It generally gets my attention. Alright, what are we summoning out? Dingirsu being summoned. Oh, is it August? Okay, we've got some August gaming going on here. Probably not the most optimal Orcus Denfield. Monster Reborn for the opponent's monster. Oh my god, okay. Who's the real fucking reptile player here? I'm gonna parry these nuts in your mouth. Yeah, that's how I click on your games right there. Is older guys looking at a good option? Nope. Any back row deck currently is probably not a good option because Striker farms back row decks. Striker's very good into them. So if your deck is back row based, it's probably not the best to play it into striker format. So striker is very popular in the format. Alter guys probably won't be too great. Same with um live twin. Although live twin I think is a bit better than alter guys, so might do a bit better. But personally, I think yeah, that's probably gonna get found by striker. It's referring to the D's nuts chocolate bars. True, even though I've never tasted one of the Mr. Beast bar things before. Neuron activated. That's me, I'm these nuts. <laughs> well, you suddenly have a bit of a base deck going on. Orcus Reptile? Evening Star with another banish. Tributing all three, Symbol Skeleton reviving Ding again. And that Ding got a lot of work in. So Orcus may be good. Oh no, not again. Alright, Mr. Linus Tech... Wait, 2017 player. You better be playing Gladiator Beast. If, you, if you're not playing Gladiator Beast, I... If I could ban you from this from this uh, room, if you're not playing Gladiator Beast, I would. No way you are 2017 player not on Gladiator Beast. Come on, you better be. Wait. The other player is the Gladiator... Oh my god, you're 10 you. I hate you. At least there is a gladiator beast in this room though. It's just the other player. <laughs> How does that happen? How is the guy named 2017 player not the gladiator beast anyway? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. This room is four players. What do you mean he's got four players? We're literally watching two different uh, decks right now. Fucking Tenyu though. Alright, if Tenyu can't beat Gladiator Beast, I swear to god they are not beating the fraud, al fraud allegations. If it loses to Gladiator Beast, that, like, come on guys. We've got to admit at some point that is a di that is an absolute dog shit death. Let's see, can it beat Gladiator Beast? Alright, Test Panther coming out. Test Panther doing a search, grabbing the fusion spell actually. Rescue Rabbit tributing, summoning some dudes. Shuffling out, summoning out the retiring. Oh, banishing from grave, nasty. Unicorn going to be shuffling one monster. Make oh my god, big guy. 4,000 attack and not lethal though. Two lots of back row. Hey, what was the fusion spell? <laughs> Did we just search the fusion spell despite not using it? Huh? Why did we grab the fusion spell not to use it? Anyway. 
Guess we plan to use it during the opponent's turn to summon out the fusion monster. There it is. Okay. Summon out the big guy. Force the attack into itself. Can negate that as well. Oh my god, he's actually gaming. Wait, this guy's really good at Oh my god, Tenji losing to Gladiator Beast? It's never been the allegations. Like, to be fair, this, this Gladiator Beast player was kind of nuts. This dude was pretty fucking good at what he was doing. But Tenji not beating the allegations right there. I'm telling you guys, I I've been telling you this for months. No one believes me, okay? Tenji is a fraud deck. Tenji just lost to a deck created in 2016, alright? Come on. <laughs> okay, his best deck ever. I mean, that guy was really good at playing it too, so that, that certainly helps him. <laughs> hey, have we still not found a Sky Striker game? I said we'd find one just naturally, and we haven't come across one yet. Where, where are they at? There were plenty in the previous room. Where are they all, where, where are they all hiding for this one? Striker players all at the bottom of the room, or what? Now, what's Queen Panda playing? We seen the uh, skill? Oh, it's Lily Sky Striker. We we're literally looking at one right now. It's on the screen. Depends on who's operating it. Nope, Tenyu's a fraud deck, no matter who's operating it. If it's winning, it's because the pilot just happens to be really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. But if they were playing a much better deck, they'd be even better. They'd be popping off harder. They're currently playing Striker, nice. Huge facts right there. You should have brought a cringe stall deck. No. Then no, you're a zombie player, aren't you? you just play, don't you play like Shirinui and shit? You've moved past your stall days. Now you actually play decks that are actually like, do stuff. Have you, have you, you surely you've got the new structure deck as well as Andre, the new zombie structure. Surely you got into that as well. Being a zombie player. Alright, Area Zero going to be looking the top three. You think TG or Striker is better? I'm leaning towards TG. Leaning towards TG. But it's very hard to tell early on, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I could be completely wrong on that. I wouldn't be surprised if Striker was a better deck, but I think it's TG. Oh, you don't have gems? Feels bad, bud. Oh. Wait, could you not out this? Was this field just unoutable by Striker? Is that a thing? Oh. Ah. I see what occurred here. I see. I see the issue. <laughs> Alright, move it on. Move it on. Yes, that is something you, that is something that Striker uh, has issues with. Non-target removal. The best they've got is they've got that spell card that can target set back row. And you can pop set back row, including on your own field. And if you have got three spells in graveyard, you get a non-target remove one of your opponent's cards. That's the only like inbuilt non-target removal they have, but it's pretty bad, so. Oh, it's pretty like situational. You just like pop your own cards a lot of the time. Alright, TG once again. Which might just be the best deck in the game. We haven't seen that much Blue Eyes in this room, by the way, and Blue Eyes is like a heavy contender for potentially best deck as well. Alright, Star Guardian adding back the Screw Serpent. Special summoning the Serpent, reviving. Going for the Link. Alright, are we going to summon the correct Link? Oh, sorry, the correct uh, Synchro Monster. Will we summon it? Hold. Hold. Which one are we summoning? Am I going to complain again? Correct Link Mon- or oh, Synchro Monster. Good job, buddy. Correct one. 
Alright, sending it to the grave, reviving the two dudes. Summon out the Halberd Cannon. I can love 20 hand transfer player. <laughs> Master Door Gaming right there. Alright, what the... What are we looking at right here? Negating the doll? Okay. That's a, a negate I guess you can do. Surely we hold the negate there. Oh my god, a prismatic crow? Dude, I want a prismatic crow. Yo, hand it over. It looks sick. And he's gone. But bro, hand over the prismatic crow. Come on, that is sick. Why is that the correct synchro? Because that one, it's a machine. So if your opponent removes your... Actually, just rewind the VOD to when I complained about it earlier. <laughs> rewind the VOD to the game where the, the TG player summoned the wrong synchro and it punished him for it. Although he won the game anyway, but... Alright, the Stardust... Okay, I'll explain it again. The Stardust monster is not a machine. And the issue with that is, if your opponent outs your boss monster, and you revive the Stardust, and the turn passes back to you, the spell card in your graveyard requires a machine on field to add back the monster from grave to hand. So you cannot add back the deck's main starter from grave because your Stardust is a dragon. The other one, when it's on the field, is a machine, so you can. So if they're out your boss monster, you summon him back, and you have follow-up on the following turn. Also important to mention, the other one can banish itself, so your opponent tries to use some sort of removal on it. It can banish itself, and then comes back to the field, and still guarantees the follow-up. Anyway. Little McTiddy over here, versus... Name Van... Okay. I thought it was a little like mirror match there, I was gonna say. <laughs> Ancient Warrior coming in here, okay. Did I just see punishes for summoning Blade Blaster? How? You just banished the fucking Blade Blaster. Oh, you're talking about when it's got two monsters on the field? I mean, sure, whatever. This is turn, this is like turn one, who cares. But that is actually, that is a true point. That is a true point. IDP does actually punish though. But you can also just like, just, just draw the out, you know, just draw the lance, smile. Just draw the out. <laughs> Alright, Tenki gonna be searching for the monster. Tensu summoning. Three visits, Nightmare gonna be flipping face down. That's the last Nightmare flip. And summon out our Link Monster finally, Mr. Dragon Lords. Searching for Kong. Kong can summon itself. Electric Virus gonna go hard today. Electric Virus? I mean, that is actually- that is true. There's some machines going on. Wait, are, are, this, this, are the Striker Monsters machines as well? They are, right? Holy, wait, Virus going hard actually. The Striker out, and the TG out. No, it's probably not that good as a TG, considering... Like, if they go second, they're just gonna summon out non-machines. Damn, that Grandpa Moto expression, holy, he's looking angry. Dude, chill out, it's just a game of you, yeah. Alright, draw discarding. Black Sheep, gonna be adding back a fusion. So I make Wolf, sorry. Never mind. Then we're gonna be fusion summoning. We have got the Dancer in the graveyard. Alright, it's looking... It's looking Jova. With the hand trap monster on the field, it's looking Jova. 
Oh, it's very Jova. Alright, moving on. Wait, Andre, you are in the room. I thought you said you weren't in this one. Okay. I thought you said you type like you weren't in the room, Andre. What the hell? Alright, let's see what you played. I sure you I'm sure I do it. Of course, playing the vampire mat. Of course, of course. Alright, Andre versus the TG player. A long time viewer versus New deck. Alright, let's see what's going on. Playing the fish. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a toss-up whether the fish is better than the other level one. They're basically they're basically used for the same thing, but they have they each have their upsides and downsides. I should really try out the fish to see if I ever actually use it for anything. This one is technically like a removal effect, sort of. So maybe it's better, but then the other one has the search effect on it for if you just end up setting it or get destroyed by something. I don't know. Bit of a toss up for me. But both both just level ones that special summon themselves, so it doesn't particularly matter which you use. Alright, there's the gladiator. Limiter removal. Which one are we summoning? Which one are we doing? Why see that goddamn Stardust monster on the field? Good boy. Good boy. Alright, setting it to grave, reviving. And these three become your Halberd Cannon. And how much back row have we got? Two cards in hand? Any any back row? Or even worse, Crows actually. Crows versus the Shearer player would be very nasty. What's your opinion on the new Sky Striker deck? Very good, very good. Expect to see plenty of it in the next KC Cup anyway. Pops the monster, of course, can't target the Halberd though. There's the fucking Crow. Crow stonks through the roof at the moment actually. Okay, playing through the crow though. Can negate the synchro summon. We can deal with this saga. Successor being used to search. Oh, Mizuki! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. We add him back the main starter for the deck. Let's grab him back the serpent. Cert being used, reviving the level 1, making yourself into a magician to pop the back row. Samsara, okay. Oh wait, it's continuous, never mind. Oh no, he does the protein, I'm stupid. Never mind. We saved. Negating the summon, but has the spectral sword actually. Okay, how about cannon popped? Chooses to summon back the Guardian to add back to hand, okay. Magician. Alright, normal summon the Serpent. Serpent revive. Summoning out the Squire Saga. Bottomless Trapo. Dude, who's the real Shiranui player here? Have we normal summoned yet? We have, right? Okay. Is level 2 still in grave? No level 2 engraved, so no real follow-up. Uh-oh. 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 Damn, the superior Shiranui player won. Good game, though. Good game. Alright, what we got next? 
the autism. Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll watch a game. What is the autism playing? Alright, Dem Damon Lop Bun. Gladiator Beast, okay, another Gladiator Beast gamer. Okay, he's playing the Jamba too, best theme in the game. This theme goes absolutely hard. Do you enjoy it's more complicated with every box? Yeah, it's true to some extent. It's why a lot of people want the timers to be increased, me increased, me included. I'd like another 30 seconds on the timer added. Or maybe some like intervals in between turns, like you get 30 seconds as soon as the opponent's turn starts would be kind of nice. Seems how Master Duel does it. To deal with the increased complications. Hey, that crow just stopped the turn entirely? That is rough. Okay, I don't think I think we know the result of this drill. How does it feel, Andre, to play the Shiranui deck, then get killed by a Shiranui card? Having the Shiranui monster being summoned against the Shiranui deck. Alright, Coral Dragon, we'll be removing as well. Using everything on field to go into a... What are we summoning here? <laughs> They're all tutors. Oh, it's summoning the launch, okay. So we're just summoning the big 4,000 attack halberd and getting a draw out of it. Why not? Alright, there's the gladiator. I don't, do we really need to go through all this? This guy is like, beyond dead. Alright, thank you. Why is Shiro Nui hits? Hey, Shiro Nui was really good in the last KC Cup. It's just currently, um, their matchups got a lot worse. <laughs> uh, who are we not seen yet? I'm trying to see if there's any names I don't recognize. We might not have seen Son yet. I've seen these two? I don't know. Hey Apex! Thank you buddy. Three months in advance? God damn! Thank you buddy. You played 10, won 10 games, you played 10 games and went 8-2? Until I sort of caught your stream? What are you doing awake at 3.34am? Or, wait. Whatever, I don't know what time zone you live in actually now I think about it. <laughs> like, WA, right, or something? Y'all motherfuckers should be sleeping? I think most people watch me are like American. I'm pretty sure. Alright, Gimmick Puppet versus Striker. It's 1.05 p.m. for me here. What time zone is that? Isn't it like early morning-ish for... No. I don't know. Upside down time zone. Casey aka Kravis. <laughs> what the hell are you typing? Please play Dream Mirror. Hell no. Alright, the Orcus player's kinda cooking actually. Wait, why is there Orcus on my screen? Is this Orcus gimmick puppet? Is that a playable thing? Up in the Northern Territory for work, had to do some had to do some night stuff, so I'm not a whack. Oh okay. Fair enough.
How is this even a match that you can play together? I thought Gimmick Puppet was kind of like a racist deck, and that didn't let you play other art types with it. How is Gimmick Puppet being played with Orcist? Does it not have any locks on it? Maybe only the skill had locks, and he's not playing the skill. Maybe. I don't know, I'm confused. How are there two different people spamming Try Dream Mirror? One of them gets banned and the other one's team spamming. God damn it. You're shooting the second one's ironic. And he's gone. To my poor chat. My poor chat just got deleted. Don't play Dream Mirror. Now that's a damn. That might deserve a mod, mod, uh, mod for that one. The opposite of a ban, I guess. The allegation forced them to not be racist anymore. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, striker swapping over. Haven't used Kagari yet. How are we on turn three without using Kagari yet? I've been back the engage. You think Sky Strike will be tier one in this meta? Um, I'm leaning more towards TG being the sole tier one. But I'll do my tier list tomorrow. There's a big, there's a big um tournament today for Duel Links. So once that one's happened and using Grand Harrier's results from yesterday, it should be pretty easy to form some sort of an opinion on uh Duel Links meta on the Duel Links meta. But I'm leaning more towards TG being the sole tier one. Like, the Sky Strike is good, don't get me wrong, it's just um, I think TG is the better one. Alright, gonna be negating and yoinking. Oh, that's just lethal on field. Man, Sky Striker really does just lethal out of nowhere. You would just steal a monster and your opponent is just dead. In a 4,000 life point game? Like, bro. Stealing anything over 2,000 attack is so nasty. Oh, the room end? Oh, the room ended. Alright. Let's see the results of the room. Alright, so. Remember, as per usual, if you guys want to share your deck list in the Discord, there is a point battle channel here. For room 2, actually. Thank you, Blessed, actually. So if you want to share your deck list for the room, especially the top cut, feel free to post them in here. And we'll check them out once we've checked out the names. Uh, Tachiza, first place, Dukaru, Loom, Lumnakum, Vanderhoff, Juan, 2017 player, Thermal Soul, Drui, Timothy, Namf, the, the, I, I can't pronounce these names, The Autism, Queen Panda, HLS Dragon, Linus Tech Tips, hi, and that is your top card. And you can I say Linus Tech Tips and that guy get cancelled? Anyway, moving on. Alright, so let's see your top card. Let's see what we got in here. And we have first and second place lined up in a row? Okay, that's sick. Alright, so first place, Sky Striker. Alright. Only two copies of this, playing an IDP. Uh, two guys, the spell card, triple into the void. I think a lot of people are leaning towards the two, uh, two ray. Over playing a third one. Which definitely makes the deck a bit cheaper. Very nice, very nice. Scratch on your first. Very nice. Alright, second place with TG. The deck is cracked apparently. That the, look at the gap between first and second, actually. It's actually quite a big gap. First was farming with this list, actually. I do like the mind control in the deck. First was farming. Alright, second place TG, though. What we got on, we're going on in here. Playing a variety of hand traps, actually. Just playing... <laughs> okay, this is the... Uh, the uh, very indecisive hand trap choices here. We're just like, yeah, we'll just play one of each. 
Very nice though. There's the extra deck as well. Playing your Trish, double ba playing both Trishulas actually. Can you find your Discord? It'll be in the description of this uh, of the stream. Description of stream and on Twitch. It's in the little panel things I think down the bottom. I think or the it's somewhere on the thing. Or on YouTube, it's on the description. All right, Galaxy. What are you playing? Oh, so the 13th place is also top cut. Uh, Book of Moons, couple of quick plays. I think it's the same deck list from the previous room, or it's a very similar one to what we saw. Very nice, very nice. There is your extra deck. Not bad, not bad. Which deck one? Sky Striker. Salaman- How do we miss all the Salaman great games? Have you given us a replay? Oh, hang okay, so we missed this. Hey, what are you? Oh, it's the FTK. It's this thing. It's not salad. It's the stupid FTK. How'd you get 13th FTK in people? How do we miss this, by the way? Where is it? Where's the big turtle? Come on, summon out the catapult turtle. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and there is your FTK deck list that managed to get top cut actually. Managed to get top 15 with the stupid FTK. Don't call FTKs based, they're never based. Even if that one was maybe a little bit based. Alright, fifth place. I played 30 minutes because of IRL stuff. 5 and 0. 5 and 0 with Galaxy Eyes. Alright, not bad, not bad. Couple of Crows. I think Crow is like always mandatory if you can play it in your deck list. This card is so fucking good currently in this format. Such a good card. Alright, moving on though. Uh, 27th, 4 0, then collapsed to stronger deck list. Ah, yes, every deck list in the game is a. Uh, falls into that category. When it comes to 10 ye. Good old fraud ye. Akiza would get it. Sir? Alright, um, there's your extra deck. Alright, got 8th with Sabidroid, alright. I suppose he's the same one from last room with the double uh, revive. You top card the last room, didn't you, I think, as well? So good job. Two, two lots of top cutting with the same uh, same deck, which is pretty good. Shows that it's consistent in what it's trying to do. Good to see Speedroid still kept alive. You want to see some Gladiator Beast? I only had 29 minutes to play because of some work. Still 18th. Also had a Prismatic Crow. You had a Prismatic Crow as well? Bro. But you didn't have the Prismatic Crow in the deck list though. <laughs> but I guess you can't play in this deck list to be fair. 30 card. Yeah, 30 card does feel pretty good because you don't draw into the monsters, which you really don't want to draw into any Gladiator Beast monster. <laughs> but, yeah. Unfortunately, then you can't draw into your unexpected dies, which feels awful, so... Or the rescue rabbits as much. I think I'm gonna stick to 20, but I can understand 30 card with this deck. And there is your extra deck as well. Playing the Oink Monster here. Where's the Nightmare Unicorn? Surely this deck has to play Nightmare Unicorn, 100%. 27th place of Paleo. We actually saw this deck was win a game on stream, so... There you go, that was the Paleo list from this stream. Actually, did he win? I think he won. There you go, there's some Paleos. I'd like to personally apologise to the TG and Speedroid players who I somehow beat with fairies. <laughs> you bully. Like counter fairies? That, that kind of fairy? 10th place with Striker. Okay, I mean, this is still top card. Not Striker, sorry, with Luna. Three copies of the Fusion Monster. Oh, the fusion monster maker thing. Uh, this dude. 
It looks pretty good, pretty good. I think the only non standardish thing is we're playing three of this. Normally there's like two, I think, is the, uh, what most people are on. Looks pretty good, all the same. Very good deck into, uh... Very good deck into... There's actually a fusion spell in here now, I think about it. But you can just use this for fusioning. It's a very good deck into TG, which is trying to negate uh, innate summons, and this one just says no. Third place, when the zombie is world. Oh, you got third place with the Odomat deck? I think we even saw this. We just saw you lose a game. We saw you get Cosmic Cyclone on the field spell. Based Odomat Enjoyer over here. Very based. He beat you the ca <laughs> It was Counter Fairy? Oh, you just spelled that? Okay, okay. We'll see you in a sec. Very good. I love to see it, love to see it. This deck is actually a really fun deck. Very fun deck to play. Do definitely enjoy this stuff. So it's also, it's kind of funny. I didn't really think about it, but the um, Sky Striker monsters have fairly low stats. So if you just summon out this guy, give him 5,000 attack, that is a lot of damage to deal to a Striker. <laughs> like, if you're able to hit them, like, even a little bit of damage, then hit them with this thing, they are just dead. Okay, moving on. Ah, 50, 53rd. Oh, this is the this fucking... This is the guy bullying with these counter fairies. Just win the coin toss and counter trap your opponent to death, smile. God, it's been so long since I've seen a deck was like this. Fucking counter fairy, man. Been too long. The actual OG fun police. <laughs> God damn, I haven't got my Discord on streamer mode. God damn it, Fluffy. Anyway. Alright. Seventh place, we've got Thermal Soul. Actually, we had a, a, quite a few Galaxy um, players in this room, actually. A lot of Galaxy enjoyers. There we go. Extra deck two. Looks almost identical to the um, one we saw earlier. Like, basically identical. <laughs> Might be the same list. Alright, 11th place, we had Striker, so another top cutting Striker over here. Ghostmorn being played, okay. Summon, <laughs> Summon Breaker. Cringe. Alright, then we've got... Uh, the rest seems pretty good though, pretty, pretty standard. I'm playing this over uh, the Searcher, for the Monster Searcher, We're playing Terraforming for the Field Spell instead. See, some people prefer that. Extra deck wise, we've got your uh, triple of the new fusion. Is that a prism? Zoom enhancing? Hang on, trying to enhance. Is that a prismatic? Enhancing? Motherfucker has a prismatic Shizuku? Where's, why do you guys all got better Shizuku, uh, better prismatics than I do? No, I missed the stream. Hmm. Right, so you, you just see it DM me a second ago to come on screen. You're a part of the stream. How's this motherfucker got a prismatic Shizuku though? Come on, man. Everyone's got way better luck than me. I get prismatic fucking. What the hell? What did I even get in the last box that was prismatic? Or something stupid. <laughs> Didn't know my that. I mean, normally I have stream mode on, but I turned it off to, to uh. Show someone's Twitter on screen, because someone reached out their Twitter. Counter Fairy is respectable, that is debatable. <laughs> Skill issue, you loom? Fuck you. Alright. Uh, what are we looking at here? Shooting Star Road TG EX. Uh, so it's using the new skill, but with the Stardust player. <laughs> I beat players I never thought I would, I'm satisfied. Alright. 40th place, pop it off. Alright, here we got next. 27th with the- oh god, the- oh god! They haven't invented the screenshot yet. Uh... Yes, got some zombies going on. Yes, yes, some zombies. There you go, lots of zombie gaming going on. And the spell card to recycle your stuff. Non-prismatic crows. 
0th place? Holy, that is insane, Andre. Love your deck's name is Auto Jewel. <laughs> okay. There you go, playing two Samsara. Very nice, Andre. Getting your zeroth place. Just a Digimon card. Holy, that looks sick. Okay, okay. Alright, back to the uh, back to the stream. Wait. How did it scroll all the way back up here? What was it up there? Yeah. Uh 19th, 50, 50 of 10 was first for like half the whole thing, but lost three in a row. Nearly top cut it with Gladiator Beast. Got very close. Very close. <laughs> I don't even know what that trap card is. Actually I have no clue. Bro, I missed my Squire Saga and double Solitaire Prismatic. Double Solitaire Prismatic?! Oh my god, they are too. Have you got so many- Are you just going wailing on the same box on Repay Andre to try to get the, get the, um... Get only the Shiranui's in Prismatic? There's no way you got those by just, like, just by luck, right? You must be just wailing on the same box on Repeat. Alright, there's the Gladiator Beast. Another... He's above 20 cards, I'm not sure if that's 30. Not 30. Alright, at least, at least this one's playing Nightmare Unicorn. Alright, 13th so place with Striker. Played 10 games and won 8 out of it. Okay, and this one's on triple of the back row remover card. Holy... This man is a hater of back row. Has a spell card to make your thing unaffected and also playing the back row hater. That's crazy. There we go. Extra deck as well. Wait, what is that? Why is there an S there? Why is it S and N? S and N? 48th? We actually saw this win on stream too. By a guy named IP Grabber. Ah, uh, Sus? Yeah, who needs an extra deck anyway? Just, just play two monsters. Who needs an extra deck? Oh my god. Yeah, we did see this win on stream too, fair. Alright, this was... I and mean, we saw this get played. This is the Orcus decklist. I think we saw it win too. Don't know where he placed, he didn't put where he placed, but... Oh my god, what is that? Oh, we're giving our opponent a gimmick puppet so it locks them? We're literally playing fucking Branded and Master Door at this point? The gimmick puppet lot in Jaw Links? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you getting out with the DLE he sends his life? Okay, okay. Alright, nearly at the bottom now. We've got fourth place with Striker. Never summoned anything besides Striker Links. Oh, okay. So that way you didn't show the extra deck, sure. Playing two of the back row hater, one of the uh, spell card as well. Oh, playing the um, uh, down to the grave, whatever it's called. The Luke Tyler tech he was playing. Very nice. Where's the dude with the Hydra deck? 61st place playing it. Try mid. Oh my god. Powers. Why is there Ra in your deck? Ra and Power Seek. Okay. Very, very based. Moving on. Didn't hire rank, but I was happy to participate. 333rd place. Holy. That is a placement right there. There you go. Uh. Caught live in a bad type person, Gladiator Beast. Try and redeem 10 years reputation. <laughs> Unlucky. So you had a 6th place popping off, but unfortunately we did see you lose the Gladiator Beast on stream, which... I don't know, that might just that might just be a rep killer right there. I don't know if you can ever recover. Losing, from, losing to a deck that was created in 2016 is... I don't know. 
playing a single copy of Floodgate Trap Hole as well. Going home to 21 cards. Very nice, very nice. Dude, you even got a laughing emoji. Like, come on. 74th place of Gladiator Beast again. Prismatic curve as well, card actually. There is the extra deck as well. Get some wrestling. Maybe after, actually after this I'm going to go watch the League of Legends uh, NA final, so. Uh, 27th place with Metal Foes Despot. We saw this on stream too. This is the Bomber Dragon guy who was named Bomber. It was actually really cool to watch, actually. His name's literally Topologic Bomber Dragoon, and he was summoning this card. This actually had a really cool extra deck. This guy did some spicy stuff on stream. Very cool to see it. Oh, semi-final. It's still a final. And I'll, I'll be watching both of them, hopefully, if I don't fall asleep. Uh, 46 places, Montage Dragon OTK. Okay, dude. Montage Dragon OTK, but you only play one Montage Dragon. Are you just play praying to God you open it? <laughs> okay. Very nice, very nice. And that's going to be doing it for the room. Alright, boys. It's been fun. Thank you guys for tuning into the stream. Um, if you guys want to see some more Yu-Gi-Oh! gameplay, I'm going to raid into Dear Lee now, because he's hosting a $300, I assume, pretty big tournament. So if you guys want to... Can I raid by a click on someone else's channel? Probably not. Yeah, go watch a uh, raid. Go watch a uh, raid. Okay, yeah. nice fun. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, eh, folks? Uh, yeah. Thanks for the bits, eh, folks? And the people on YouTube can will have to go click the link, I guess. I'll post it in my YouTube chat the too. People on YouTube can will have to go. There you go. There's a there's a big tutorial for you guys to watch. Ooh, you're right. There you go. There's a, there's a big also, Alright. Thank you all for watching. See you in a later stream. Once, uh... I hope I'll raid the right channel. I think that, that, that's, that's gotta be the right channel. Yeah, it is. Alright, nice. Alright. Later, boys. Thank you for tuning in.